of it. Yep. Three, two, one, go. The recording has started. Greetings, family. Oh, forgive me. Hold on. Let me start all over again. Unmute. Okay. Greetings, family. Welcome to another one of your Frank 26 UB Tubies. It's good to be with you. Yeah. UB Tubi decided to ban me for a week. And the reason why they banned me is because um, of things that were said back in 2019. And what was the other 2021? 20. 20? And uh, 2020. Are you sure? 21. You're yeah, right. it was 21. Uh, I, I can't argue with them. I simply had to be obedient to them. And they said that uh, they didn't like basically what Blue Star was saying. That's why Blue Star doesn't come on our programs anymore. God bless them. I miss them. But uh, so be it. And that's why we weren't with you on Monday. But uh, YouTube uh, released our ban. And here we are uh, today on Wednesday uh, to be with you. And it's good to be with you. It is the 17th of August. 2022 I greet you in agape love and before we do anything we are going to go to our Heavenly Father in prayer we are a Christian based organization we are KTF always dot com keep the faith always now I'll tell you something many of you called me <laughs> call I mean, you constantly calling me uh, thank you for the uh, newsletter thank you for the email I didn't send you nothing Please be careful. We are copied and pasted by everybody. And they, they, then, then they put it in their, their site and then they send it to their people. And it looks like I'm sending you something. I don't send out a single email. I don't send out anything. People come to KTFA to take because we give freely. Now that I've made that announcement, everything that we're gonna say tonight according you know, to our study, is just in my opinion. It's just in my opinion. Nothing more, okay? So, let's get this ball of rolling because we got a lot to talk about tonight. And we bring in our Pastor Kendall that will lead us in the word of prayer. And then right after that, it looks like I'm going to be blown the shofar. Pastor Kendall, are you there, sir? Yes, good evening, Frank. Good evening. It's good to be back. Welcome, welcome. It's good to be back. I'm refreshed, but you know, it's time to get to work. Amen. You know, as soon as I came home, um, it, well, even when I was away, I was bombarded with phone calls um, because people are hurting. You know, people, and I'm talking about believers, uh, they, they're hurting, and some believers, but some none, but people are just going through, and, and I mean, they, they, they lost hope. And you know, the Bible says in Romans chapter 4 that Abraham, it says in 18, even when there was no reason for hope, Abraham kept hoping, believing that he would become the father of many nations. For God has said to him, that is how many descendants you will have. And Abraham's faith did not weaken, even though at about 100 years of age, he figured his body was as good as dead. And so was Sarah's womb. Abraham never waved or wavered in believing God's promise. And I read that because I want so many people that may be listening right now, you may have called me, your need, and your you're hurting. Please don't give up hope. Listen, hope beyond your belief, hope beyond hope. When there's no reason to hope, please continue to hope in our Lord and Savior, Amen. Jesus Christ. Please, I, I, I feel your hurt, I feel your pain, I feel your need. I'm in need too, but you know what? My hope is still in God, it's still in Christ. Yes, we're all are looking for this blessing. I know, and I know you may think that this thing being delayed is God being delayed. No, God is never delayed. He is on time. And so I, I, I encourage everyone, if you're listening tonight, 
and you're able to get it because we still we're still trying to help people. Please put it in your heart to share a blessing with someone. If you desire to give to those that are in need, those that want, please send a check of money order payable to Faith Church Ministries, Post Office Box fifty two twelve. Yaden, that's Y-E-A-D-O-N, Pennsylvania, 19050. And maybe you don't know Jesus for your sins. You know, the Bible says that Jesus is the way. He is the life. He is the truth. No man comes to the Father but by him. And so I share this with you because the Bible says that if you confess with your mouth, but believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you will be saved. And all you do is let God know, yes, I want to be saved. I believe that Jesus came and he died for my sins, but also believe that he rose again on the third day. If you believe that, confess that, tell that to God. It's as easy as telling him in a prayer. And I'm going to pray that prayer. Repeat after me. If you desire for your heart to be with God. Dear God, I know I'm a sinner. God, I know I can't save myself. That's why Jesus came. He paid the price. I believe that. I believe that he was crucified. I believe that he was suffered. I believe that he died on the cross. I believe they buried him. But on the third day, he got up with all power in his hands to save a wretch like me so that I could be your child. Thank you, God, for saving me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Father, I pray right now that God, if someone opened their heart to you, that God, that you received them in love, that you would show them your way, and that you would strengthen them and protect them from the evil one. Lord, as we go into this call, God, I thank you so much for allowing Frank the opportunity to one more time to come and share about who you are. Lord, thank you. Now, God, protect him. Protect his wife, protect his home, and protect this uh, company, KTFA, that God, as we go out and share the gospel, that people would know who you are. Protect us all, God. And now, God, for the information that we receive tonight, Lord, let it bless people. Let them let give them a, 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 a glimmer of hope. But God, I pray that they would realize you are their hope that they need to look towards the hills from which cometh their help. It comes from you. And Lord, I pray this prayer in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus, Yeshua, the Christ. Amen, amen, and amen. And amen. amen. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Was that Andy? Uh-huh. Fine, the car. Yes, it was. Are you in the car, Andy? Was, um, I'm in the car. Oh, well, check this out. I hope that you're proud of me, okay? Here's, I'm always proud of you, Frank. Well, you may not be when I mess this up, but here goes. <clears throat> oh, I had it going, didn't I? How about that? Don't try so, <laughs> Amen. Don't try so hard. Yeah. Don't try a little easier. Don't. Now don't you tell me. Much. Now you, uh, my face is as blue as my you suit. Don't, <laughs> you don't want your eyeballs to pop out. <laughs> well, I gave it my best, and I'm going to continue to practice because. Um, yep. Because um, I'm uh, I'm working like I told uh, everybody and I told you and, and Pastor Kendall, 
I would like to let everyone know uh, we want to go to Israel, my wife and I. And once we have it established, the dates, the time, you know, who we're going with, we're going to present that on our form so that if anybody wants to do it, you know, they, they can come. Right now, it looks like it's uh, sometime in the month of May of next year. That's a perfect time, springtime to go. But we will let uh, everyone know if, uh, you know, more of the details of that. But I'd love to be able to take this so far and blow it uh, in the land of Jesus. We'll see. Well, you'll be able to buy really nice shofars there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and, I mean, and I think they'll be able to teach me how to do it better. By then, by then you'll have it down to a science. There you go. Love you, Brother Andy. Um, yes, sir. I'll be on the call. At the end, Let's you bet. Uh, Pastor Kendall, any, uh, do, you, do you want to talk about Thursday, where our Bible study? Yes, yes. What time is Definitely. it uh, Thursday? Um, well, 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 first, I just want to publicly um, say thank you to you for Sunday's um, Zoom church service yes you know even though i was cut off i did hear the the recording and and so brother thank you so much for pouring your heart out to us uh thank you so much for allowing us to you know uh still have service even though i wasn't there so uh, again i just want to say again thank you um for that now as far as um again bible study Yes, we had an awesome time uh, in Bible study. Uh, again, I wasn't there, but I was listening, and, and our dear friend Gary, our brother Gary White, he did an awesome job teaching on the ironic blessing. And I pray he'll be on later on tonight to share again that blessing. But this Thursday night uh, at 7 o'clock, he's going to be teaching on um, the shofar, the meaning of the shofar, right. and the, uh, the, 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 the definition, and everything that we want to know about the shofar. And so please come out, uh, be, with us, uh, be with us again on this Thursday at 7 o'clock to, uh, to our Bible study. Exactly. It's at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Thursday. Yes, exactly. And then we have our faith church service on Sundays at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, is, is Gary doing that one? No, I will be back uh, oh, this good. Sunday. Okay. Um, and as a matter of fact, we'll be, we'll be teaching on community and what does God think about the community of believers. Good. Um, I think it's going to be really important for us to, you know, come this Sunday to hear God's heart. All righty. Thank you, my brothers. God bless you, and we'll see you at the end. All righty. God bless you. Thank you. All righty, family. Well, we're here to study the Iraqi dinar, and um, I'm also here to, to tell you something else. But it is amazing how it's already going on almost 18 after, and the time just goes like that. At 6.30, we have our first advertisers. I mean, you're talking about, what, uh, 13 minutes from now? It, it goes fast. So I apologize that I'm going to take some of your study time away from you right now because I want to tell you something. My wife and I, we went to, uh, to see my cancer doctor, the oncologist in Sandusky, Ohio, we went uh, Friday. Is that right, Friday? We went Friday. Oh, for Friday. Your PET scan. Yeah, Friday. I went to do PET scan. I drew a big smiley face on my belly button. They thought that was funny. And uh, that evening, that evening, uh, Friday, this past Friday, they sent. Uh, do you know what uh, my chart is? My chart. If you're not familiar with it, the, the medical world now uh, has like an email 
and it's called my chart and they put everything in there everything about your medical condition your progress so when we got home last Friday we saw that we had an email on my chart and my I I knew that it was about the PET scan they were looking inside of me in every angle possible because I was done with chemotherapy. I was done with chemotherapy. And um, they took all kinds of pictures. And that Friday night, when the report came in in my chart, um, my wife printed it out. It was four pages. In fact, where are those pages? I think they're over there, Tink, over there. If you if you see them on my table, grab them, and if not, don't worry. They're, they should be right there on that table. But when my wife, uh, she came and sat with me on the couch, I looked over at her, and I looked at the four papers, and I said, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, uh, I don't need to know. It's okay, sweetheart, if you can't find them. I don't need to know. And she says, well, I'm going to tell you. So she takes the, the four pages and up on top, that's what I wanted to show it to you because it says neck, shoulder, sternum, pelvic, and going so forth and so forth because that's what the PET scan does. It segments you layers and layers and layers. And it's a really, really in-depth, very in-depth uh, analysis of your tissues and bones. And my wife uh, was, was next to me and she said, she took the first page and she said, no, 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 no. Went to the next page too, no, no, no. And then you went to page three and four. And what did it say, Tink? No, 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 no. No. No what, Tink? No visible signs of cancer. No visible signs of cancer? Yes. From head to toe. So I called my, my doctor friends and I said, guys, I'm sending you my report. Can you look at this and tell me if I am interpreting this correctly? And one of them called me right away from Cleveland, uh, Dr. Mike, and he says, he, he calls and he says, Frank? And I'm, I, I'm like, yeah, Mike, it, it, did I interpret that right? Did I see that right? And he says, if this is real, I thought to myself, what do you mean if this is real? <laughs> of course this is real. What about it? As soon as he said, if this is real, and I said, yeah, it is, he screamed. He screamed, you're cancer free, you're cancer free, you're cancer free, you're cancer free, buddy, you're cancer free. <laughs> it's been a long road. Now, by the way, for those of you that are contributing to us financially right now, oh man, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, TJ. Tyrone, thank you for the financial contribution. Third degree, thank you. Third degree racing. T-ball, uh, T-ball, thank you. Nice. Thank you. Mike uh, Fullard, uh, thank you. Mike Fullard. Robin, Robin, and uh, that's Robin and the little boy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Robin. Damon. And Damon, thank you. All of you that are contributing uh, to our financial, you can find that contribution at the bottom of the uh, chat if you scroll down. But anyways, family, that's what's, what happened. That's what happened Friday. And um, yesterday, we went to go see the doctor. We went to go see the doctor in Sandusky, Ohio at the, at the cancer center. And I'm sitting there and I'm looking at him and he's looking at me and he says, Mr. Villa, you responded very well with this chemotherapy. You're strong. You did really good. 
What does it mean? It means you now enter the immunotherapy program. You see, family, he can't say to me, you're cancer-free. Other doctors can say it, but he cannot. And I respect that. They're going to put me in the immunotherapy program for two years. Just like my friend Walking Stick. Every two weeks, I thought it was once a month. Every two weeks, I will be going to this cancer cl clinic. And I still have my port right here for the next two years. And I will have a drip of immunotherapy that is wiping out cancer everywhere. Now, if there's no trace of cancer in my body, why am I entering the immunotherapy program? Because in the two and a half years that I dealt with this, I was attacked by cancer four times. My right kidney's gone. My right ureter is gone. My bladder's gone. My lymph nodes are gone. My prostate is gone. I think they took my brains out too, I'm not too sure. But there's so much of me missing that they had to take out. And here I am standing with our Heavenly Father now with an amazing testimony. When I was finally told that it's official, I fell to my knees and cried and prayed. I think I broke my kneecap, I'm not sure. <laughs> but you can't give up. You can never give up on God. You see, my problem was that for two and a half years, well, for two years, I would pray on my knees with all sincerity. Thank you, Trish. Thank you, Trish. Thank you, client. Uh, Trish Klein. Thank you for your financial contributions. Thank you. Yeah, I would pray, you know. The first two years, I'd fall on my knees and I would pray, God, please. And then I would get up and I would think about the medicine. I would think about the next operation. I would think about the doctor. I would think about the wrong things. It wasn't until about nine months ago when I was a, when my father died. When my father died in January and my bag was black, not, not yellow or not red, it was black because cancer had attacked me a fourth time. It was at that time that I finally fell to my knees and prayed. But this time when I got up and wiped the tears away after talking with God, I didn't think about it. I didn't think about it. I just didn't think about it. I was so tired. I was just so tired. <laughs> You get to that point. So I told God, uh, in these nine months, you got this, okay? I know you do. I know you do. And I'm sorry that I kept worrying about it. I'm sorry I prolonged this between us, but I now know you got this. Thank you. I got to go and help Jan in the garden. I'll, I'll talk to you in a little bit, God. Let me have a tissue. And I... Um, I just didn't think about it at all. I didn't. Because I finally learned how to turn it over to my Heavenly Father. How to turn it over to our Heavenly Father. Pretty cool. And this past uh, Sunday, uh, I did our church service. Thank you, Sky. Thank you, Mr. Don. God bless you all. Thank you for your financial contribution, Sky, Stormcloud, and Mr. Don. Thank you. Thank you. But I think I finally got it right. And I would not change, I would not, I would not trade this for, you know, what I've gone through these two and a half years. And I still got another two more years to go. I would not trade it for the world. All the pain, all the suffering, all 15 operations, 15 to him, you establish that relationship. Some of you included me in your in your relationship with God. Uh, 
that's something for me to be very honored about. I thank you. Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen. Pastor uh, Kendall would like to come on for 30 seconds. Sure, Pastor Kendall, the floor is yours. Thank you. Just a couple of seconds. Listen, family, come on and join. You've been praying for Frank and you've been praying for others. And God has been answered prayers. Come on, somebody put in and <laughs> in, in post it. Hallelujah and thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah for this blessing. Thank you, God, for this testimony. Right now, take one minute. Come on and give God some praise. He's worthy. He's a uh, answering God. He's a prayer answering God, and he's worthy to be praised. I didn't want to take this too lightly. Listen, I couldn't do it when I was in the airport, but right now, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for answering prayer. God is not done yet, and he's excited like I am because Frank is a testimony of what God can do. Come on, somebody. Amen. Put it in the chat. Hallelujah, Amen. and thank you, Jesus. Amen. That's all. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Pastor Kendall. And you know, Pastor Kendall, with that same idea, uh, while I was going through this, uh, while I was going through this this week, uh, my friend Walking Stick and I were having a conversation. And out of the blue, the conversation uh, switched to him and his situation. And he says, well, Frank, I just thought uh, you you need to know that the doctors uh, are giving me three to five months to live. I said, what'd you say? The doctors are giving me three to five months to live. You see, family, they took my right kidney and my right ureter out. And that's exactly what walking stick needs. But walking stick's cardiovascular structure is so shot, it is so destroyed. From all the operations, all the battle wounds, everything. They told him, if you, if we operate on you, there's a 90 plus percent chance that you will die on the table. And he said to me, Frank, you know how many times they told me that I was gonna die in the hospital? And I never did. I walked out of every one of them, every, I did four tours, Frank. And he said, I will never die in a hospital. My Marine friends already know that if I'm in the hospital and I'm dying, they're all gonna come. They're gonna pick me up and take me outside, put me in my car and watch me die in the car. They will not let me die in a hospital. So I was sad. I was heartbroken. I'm tired of losing friends. But I cannot question God's will. It's God's will. Okay? It's God's will. But here's what I did. Yesterday it finally kicked in. How dare I feel sorry for my friend walking how dare I feel sorry uh, that he's yeah. going to die. Yeah. He ain't going to die. He's going to yeah. live because I'm praying. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray the same way that you all prayed for me. Uh, we're going to pray for my friend Walking Stick. God can do the miracles meet my side. God can do anything. If God is with us, nothing can be against us. Nothing. Therefore, no more moping and doping, Frank. Sit up straight. Stand up straight. And walk erect and walk straight. And put all your faith in God. That's right, DJ. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, for the ability to pray and ask him to heal walking stick. And by my faith, by your faith, we're going to pull him through. We're going to, all of us, we're going to pray for him. He is making some type of arrangements to try to see if there's any way he can come down and see me. I told him, I said, look, let me see if I can come and see you. It's just, you know, it's, God never promised us a rose garden. You know why? Because we destroyed his garden. But even if my friend has to go home, he will be in the arms of Jesus. I told him, just wait for me, okay? 
He says, you ain't going nowhere. You got, you got options, you got choices, Frank. You can do this, you can do that. I don't have any choice. I can't even get operated. I said, I know, sir, I understand. They're gonna give him a new type of medicine along with the immunotherapy that he's taking. So with the immunotherapy he's taking and this other medicine, basically it's just to prolong his life, to give him a little more time to live. Okay, um, it's already time for the commercials. We're already five minutes past uh, the commercial time, and I apologize, but we're gonna have to do our commercials, three of them, and then we'll come back. And here's what I want. Oh, Health and Wellness Warrior, thank you for your contribution, your financial contribution. Thank you, Health and Wellness Warrior. Family, I don't even know if I got a chance to talk to you because UB2B, um, they, they, they blocked us for, for a week. So we weren't able to be with you last Monday. But I can't remember all the, there's so many things that uh, we're gonna talk about. Oh, one more thing, Pastor Kendall is in charge of it and he will be putting it up on our form. There is a, a guru, I, I'm sorry I'm using that word guru. There is a person out in the uh, internet world who is, um, close to death also and all of you know him as Oki the oil man according to the people that called me they said that he's got like about 60 days to live a couple of months and um, we, we pray for him but I turned it over to our KTFA pastor uh, who will who will post and talk about this so we pray for Oki the oil man and his family as well too um, when we come back from our advertisers, we're going to get to work with our uh, articles after that, Eddie. And then after that, I don't know if I told you, the two guys, the two guys uh, came to see Walking Stick. In fact, the two guys are, are there. They're sleeping. <laughs> they're going to, I think they're sleeping right now. The two guys, you know who. And they finished what they were doing. I'll talk to you about that when we get to Walking Stick. So the first part of his articles, the second part is uh, Eddie. And oh, we haven't talked in a while. You got a lot that you're going to hear from Eddie. And then we'll give you Walking Stick's uh, report, but it's not going to be in depth. We're not ready to, to tell you everything, but we will share as much as we can. Alrighty, so with all that said, we now bring in our first advertiser, and that would happen to be Valera. Mm -hmm. uh, Sid, are you there, brother? Let's turn this around to you. You might as well put because I'm going to need it. Uh, Sid, are you there? It's star six. Where is the schedule? It's in here. Oh, do you uh, go ahead and check and see if you see Sid there, uh, on there. Sid hit star six, and if you're not there, then I'm going to ask for uh, John from 7K Metals, but he will not be able to be with us tonight. How do you like them apples? So I'm going to ask for uh, John from Anovate. John from Anovate, are you there? Is John there? Yes. Hey, Frank, I'm here. Can Hi, John. Me? Go right ahead, brother. The floor is yours. Hey, good evening, TFA family. And um, as always, uh, I am very pleased to be able to speak to you about Anovate, uh, an absolutely wonderful whole food. Uh, uh, it was founded and uh, formulated by Dr. Anthony Klein Smith in Utah. Uh, and our main product is bovine colostrum. And if you don't know what colostrum is, well, that is what you're given when you're born. Uh, it's God's perfect food, and it is what is designed to kickstart your immune system and to make you healthy. And, you know, I've thought about it, and, you know, with this blessing we're all looking for, uh, and all the things, you know, that we see around us, 
Um, it would be very wise, I would think, to take something that would support your immune system because that is the key to not getting sick. Uh, when we support our immune system, it gives our body the ability to fight things off. And uh, so you really ought to take a look at colostrum. Our company also has a product called Lemu Z, which is a seaweed product. And the two work synergistically together uh, to also detoxify and, as I say, support your immune system, to help support mental function. Uh, just really take a look at these. And if you have interest... <laughs> My wife said to make sure that everybody understands we will not be without it. Uh, we have had incredible results with these products. Amen. And um, go to frank26.anovate.com. Take a look, place an order, give it a try. Uh, the company believes in it so much they offer a 90-day money-back guarantee on first-time orders. So that gives you a chance to try it. Give it at least a month, month and a half. See what you think. If you don't believe it did anything for you, they'll give you your purchase price back. That's uh, hard to beat that situation. And um, the other thing I love about this company is we sort of pay it forward. If you enjoy the products, uh, you can share it with your friends, your family, because you want them to be healthier as well. And by doing that, at no cost, the company awards you uh, a website and samples to send out to allow those people to try the products. So, uh, and then they will also give you a commission for sharing the product. I mean, to me, that's a win-win. You feel better, you've paid it forward, you've helped your neighbors, friends, family, people you know, and in doing so, you could probably earn enough money to pay for your own product. So uh, if anyone has any interest in that, um, you can give me a call. I'm John Brewer. My number is 479-414-5387. Uh, or I can be emailed at the number 71 south at gmail.com. Also, if you're already a customer, uh, you can convert to be an associate. And as we said, it costs you absolutely nothing. It is a, um, uh, I've never seen a company that believes in themselves so much that they will you know, allow you uh, all the things that this company does for zero upfront cost. So go to frank 26 com. take a look, try the product. As we said, you got a 90-day uh, money-back guarantee. And if there's some people that would really like to try the product, uh, we usually do a couple of uh, free samples every week. You can text a new you to me, John Brewer, at uh, 479-414-5387. Please give your name and uh, your uh, email on that, and uh, we'll get a couple of people that will get a free sample. Uh, we would love to have you try the product. So with that, Frank, uh, I appreciate the time, as always. And, uh, you know, these products are just amazing. Yes, they are. And like I told you, when I was talking with my oncologist uh, at the cancer center, he, he reiterated again uh, yesterday, you cannot take any probiotics. Make sure he gave me a list of Hornsworth and St. John's. St. John's. I mean, it just went on and on. Don't do this. Don't take that. Don't take that. Don't take that. And then I said to him, well, I don't see a colostrum. I talked to you about that la last time. And he says, oh, yeah, no, colostrum is just a food. It it's not an herb. It's not a vitamin. It's not a mineral. It's a, it's a food, su food substitute. So, no, you can definitely take colostrum. 
To which I just smiled really big. I said, yeah, I'm going to definitely take it. <laughs> Thank you, John. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, all right. Well, I was just going to okay, say, go you ahead. know, uh, God made colostrum perfect for a reason. Ooh. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, touche. Good, yeah. good, good answer there. God bless you, my friend. Take care. You bet. Bye-bye. I'm going to try one more time before we move on. Sid, are you there? You go ahead and line it up. Uh, Sid, are you there? Okay, so unfortunately we don't have Sid, but Sid is from Valara family. And Valara, as you know, is the, uh, the, the devices that are used to purify your air. Very quickly, let me just tell you that NASA, the National Aeronautic and Space Administration, they use, they use these products. This one right here, this big one, we have these at home. They're the ones that kill the COVID. This is for your pet. Uh, you know, we love uh, we love pets as much as you do. That's to protect your pet. It's a personal one that you can carry like a lanyard around your neck. That's uh, that's one that's uh, for a room. And this is for your car. That's for your car. But I'll tell you something. If 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 NASA uses these devices in the space station, well, I think that I think you should too in your home. Study this company. Study it, okay? They do have financing available in case you need it. God bless you, and thank you for listening to us. All right, let's get to work now. Let's get to work. I noticed that somebody here posted, Oh, Frank, you're not ready? You're not ready uh, to tell us? Uh, your information yet? Wow. Now, I don't think that the individual was being sarcastic like, wow, you're selfish, Frank. You don't want to share with us. And I think more than anything else, he was like, wow, Frank's got some information and we're going to be patient until he can share it with us. That's what you meant, right, friend? Of course, that's what you meant. So, for that individual, I'm just trying to explain to you it's really, it would really be stupid for us to release information that, number one, we can't prove. Now, if I give it to you because we can't prove it, I always say, well, in my opinion, or I say to you, well, it seems to me that if I was the CBI governor, I would be doing this or that. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, this thing got all crooked, Jan. Can you help us? So, yeah, we just have to be careful. That's all. We just have to be careful of when Walking Stick and I can release information. Okie dokie. Thank you, Tank. That looks excellent. That's perfect right there. Got plenty of light. Yeah, yeah we're okay. But it's shining on the... Oh, but it's it's okay. Ah, it, oh, I see what you're... Perfect, right there. That's good, that's good. Yeah, it's on the outside. All righty. You do belong to KTFAlways.com. Tink, let me know when it's uh, 8 o'clock, okay? I'm sorry, 7 o'clock. <laughs> 7 o'clock. You do belong to KTFAlways.com, right? Of course you do. You don't? Well, you should. Because these articles, uh, you need to study with us. And since you do belong to our form, get in there, go to final article thread, and turn to uh, article final article number 1,759. 1,759. Now this says that the central bank issues instructions regarding financial uh, transfers between cards. Who did, the central bank, well, who do we pay attention to, family? Kazemi, yeah. And the governor of the central bank, yeah. Do we pay attention to anybody else? No. <coughs> well, wait a minute, what about financial experts? No. Well, wait a minute. What about uh, deputy governors? No. Well, wait a minute. What about uh, uh, ministers? No. Well, wait a minute. What about the minister of finance? No. Well, he resigned. Oh. <laughs> I wonder why. So what you have here, family, is the central bank is, is still talking to the Iraqi citizens. 
The monetary reform education to the citizens is being displayed in this article. Please read it. The central bank raises the maximum limit for virtual electronic cards for the citizens' family. Where, do they, where would they get this money and from where? You know from where you've been studying. We've told you before they even brought them out. You should read this final article number 1760. Trade Bank of Iraq. Oh my goodness. To our dear, uh, to our valued customers. And this sucker is long. And this one talks about what this one is talking about. What are they talking about? Well, let's see. What does it say here? Uh, oh, ATM sites. You want us to browse at the ATM sites that provide dollar currency? You can visit our website, etc., 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 for your gold cards, your Visa gold cards. Yeah, education to the citizens of Iraq. While the nonsense of the political scene is going around. Right now, to me, Iraq is like a super hurricane. Category 5. Category 5. The middle of the hurricane, to me, is Kazemi and the governor of the CBI. The spiral arms that are swirling around at 300 miles an hour around the eye of the hurricane is the framework group. Is uh, Maliki, Abadi, Iran. All those that are just totally against what Kazemi is doing. And what is Kazemi doing? He is sterilizing his country of the infection called Iran. Iran will steal from you. Iran will beat up your grandmother and take all of her possessions without even blinking an eye. They're heartless. They're cruel. They're mean. This article, 1761, the current and the framework issue new directives to their supporters to mobilize counter demonstrations, to which I say, no riot from the framework, thank God. Instead, read the snippet. No, okay, well, first of all, before we go any further, there's the current framework, the bad guys, they want to, they want, they want, others to listen to their opinion they they want others to support them they want them to mobilize a counter demonstration against Kazemi the governor of the CBI really that's what they want huh to which I say there were no riots then when you go down to the snippet right here Al Sadr said in a post on social media, you know, guys, and he's talking to the citizens, the reform uh, lovers uh, should prepare to support the reform. <laughs> the reform lovers? <laughs> oh, Lordy, I know you didn't say that, Sadr, but whew, the translation can sometimes, you know, can come out with some funny statements. But in a way, yeah. We're in love with the monetary reform, aren't we? We're studying it, aren't we? And the Iraqi citizens love the idea of the monetary reform that has been explained to them so far. And Kazemi says, hey, you reform lovers, <laughs> you should prepare yourself. For what? To support the reform. How? by gathering each of uh, your governorates. And at five o'clock tomorrow, Friday, you will be rewarded with the best reward and stay until further notice. What do I say? There were no riots from the framework. Really? Hey, guys, just stay, stay home. You don't want us to come out and, and meet on Friday? Not necessary, just stay home. Well, thank you, Kazemi, but we're, we, we got your back. We're here for you, okay? After the framework statement, the minister of Sadr addresses his supporters, prepare for tomorrow. <laughs> what does that mean, family? 
What, what does that mean? Prepare for tomorrow. Sod, hey, Sodder, what you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? Huh? What you talking about? And the simple translation right here, family, is uh, the, the layman's uh, translation, if you will allow me. Everything I'm saying is in my opinion, even, even this uh, interpretation that I'm about to give you. Uh, no, uh, Sodder says, put up your dukes. Put up your dukes, man. Citizens of Iraq, you know very well what Kazemi is doing. Yeah, yeah, we understand. We understand the lies of the framework of, of Maliki. We understand. We're no longer going to be suckered by the fake media. Heck no. Okay. Now, says Sadr to the Iraqi citizens, up here, I want you to get ready. Over here, I want you to get ready. For what? I want you to come out into this green zone. Oh, we can do that, Sadr. We got your back. Then all of a sudden, the article says, uh, no, it's okay, don't worry about it. But Sadr, we're ready for it. This article is preparing them. But what happened, family, is that Al Sadr addresses the demonstrators of the condition of the coordination uh, framework with a message. And, 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 and what would that message be? What did I write up on top? And this message is Sadr addressing the citizens at the Green Zone. Hey, be ready. If Maliki, if the state, if the state, if the, if the frame decides to come out into the streets, I want you all to be ready and pour out. I want over a million of you to come out. Will you do that? Yeah, we got your back. I mean, we're itching to come out. Please, let me use my new baseball bat on some, on some Iranian. No, 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 no. Why do you think I'm telling you to stay in? I prepared you to come out, but now I'm telling you to stay in. I don't want no violence. I don't want to trigger any violence. Do you understand, Iraqi citizens? No, no. Yeah, yeah, we got it. I mean, you told us to get outside of parliament. You told us to clean it and get outside and, and protect it. We're still there. We're still there. You haven't told us to move. That's right. You're still protecting the green zone. You're still protecting the CBI. You're still protecting the reforms, aren't you? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. We're here. You told us to come. But Sadr tells the citizens, just stay. Family, Maliki and the framework do not have enough people to form even a quorum. Maliki and the framework does not even have support from Iran. Maliki and the framework if they went out into the streets, which they are, by the way, but they're camping. They're in their little tents. There's, a, you know, maybe what? Less than 100 of these. That's what we're going to protest? That's why you want a million of us coming out? For that? To which Sauter says to the citizens, of course not. And that's why I'm telling you, stay home. Family, Sadr told him to come out this coming Saturday. Now, we're talking about last week. These are last week's articles that I'm showing you. But yesterday and today, Sadr told the citizens again, I know I told you to do a million man march last week. I know I told you to do a million man march this coming Saturday. Uh, but this coming Saturday is also postponed. Oh, man, come on, Sutter. Come on. I sharpened my baseball bat. Come on. Let us come. No. No violence. Can't you get that through your head? No violence. I'll treat you the same way I will treat them if you're violent. Final article number 1,762. al Kazimi complains that the caretaker government will remain for nine months and calls for solving the budget issue. So, Kazimi does a speech. Then he does another speech. Then he does another... You know what? I think it's about three great speeches that Kazimi has done since the last time we were together. Three great speeches. The last one, he talked to them about five points to the citizens. The citizens love the five points. 
You think that Maliki, you think that the framework was interested in any of these three speeches that Maliki or that Kazimi was giving the citizens? Of course not. What is Maliki and the framework interested in their opinion? Even if it's a lie and they repeat it over and over and over again until eventually in their brains it becomes the truth. Not in anybody else's brain. Wow, hold on a second. Doesn't that smell familiar? Final article number one thought. Oh, and look at this. This is the speech, so it's, you just got to check it out. Make sure you read this whole thing. It's from Kazimi. Kazimi says, we are ready to hand over power. And uh, accusing me of disrupting the formation of the government is nonsense. Maliki. Now check this out. Kazimi. Not a deputy, not an assistant, not some bozo. Check it out. What's it say? Kazimi. Ah, oh, that's who we pay attention to. Kazimi. All right. What you got, Kazimi? Uh, I'm ready. I know you're ready. You've been ready. But what you ready? To hand over power? The only way you can do that is if you have a government. I've got my government. I've got my cabinet. Well, they say they got parliament. They say, there is no parliament. Yeah, I know. Maliki thinks there is a parliament. Iranian people think there's a parliament. The Iraqi citizens actually think that parliament is still stealing from the auctions. But they're not. Kazimi is ready to hand over power because he has a government. And as far as you accusing me, Maliki, uh, all of you knuckleheads accusing me that I don't have one, <laughs> <laughs> What's the title of our UB2B family? Maliki, talk to the hand. I tell you what, talk to the foot. We're ready now to bring in our next three advertisers, and when we come back, we will continue. We will continue with final article number 1,763. What, what, what do I say? This is for the new small category notes. Yeah, we'll talk in a minute. We now bring in Bob from Boomer Boost. Are you there, sir? Yes, I am, Frank. Can you hear me? Hi, buddy. The floor is yours. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, Frank, I wanted to let everybody know that we are just starting a new campaign in relation to products that help people with their immune system. So I know you have other um, advertisers also that have great products for the immune system. And we... We do also, and we're um, going to be kicking that off uh, right now, where if people would like to get signed up for early notices about a 20% off campaign, they can go to your website, to the ktfalways.com website, and scroll down, and you'll see a banner that says, Feel Great Boomer Products. Just click there, and it'll bring you right to our site, and you'll see a pop-up that you can click on, and you can enter in to receive advanced notification of our really great sale on our immune-boosting products. And also in the future, you'll have advanced notice on sales, which is really valuable because a lot of them are, you know, while supplies last. And so the products that we're going to be um, giving this great discount on Frank, are things like our vitamin D3, which has shown, you know, during the last couple of years, how important it is to have that level up to the proper level. And also vitamin C, we saw lots and lots of studies. But there's also even more powerful things, Frank, including our lignans, which is spelled L-I-G-N-A-N-S. In, the, in this case, these lignans, which are are bioactive compounds that are in plants. And in this case, it is the wax that's on the outside of flax seeds. And in that wax, it's highly, highly concentrated with lignans, which are really great for your immune system. It boosts your immune system while at the same time, it's antiviral and antibacterial. And really important for right now, Frank, because 
This is, you know, the middle of August and we're entering into the fall, which is the time when the kids are back at school. And it's the time when, you know, there tends to be, it, they call it flu season, right? So the weather starts to change and people really need to have their immune system high so they can access discounts on those lignans. Also, our probiotics, which are great for the immune system. And we have a brand new product, which is olive leaf extract. You can get that discount on as well. And stress is a really big thing also uh, that we know can have a negative impact on your immune system. And on our podcast, which is liveforeveryoungradio.com, there's numerous different um, podcasts regarding stress. And for kids that are going back to school, we have a separate website for the children, which is called schooltestprep.com. And this is a website that teaches children how to stay calm, especially during times when they're taking tests, when test anxiety can kick in. And we have a whole separate website for helping children with test anxiety. And so if people want to remember, go to ktfoys.com and click on the banner that says Feel Great Boomer Products and lead you to all these things, including schooltestprep.com. And if you'd like to give us a call, we have people answering the phone during the day. We're in St. Petersburg, Florida, right on Central Avenue. Give us a call at 800-861-4609. And Frank, thank you very much for having me on this wonderful Wednesday. Thank bless you. you and bless all the listeners. Thank you, Bob. God bless you, friend. Bless you. Family, you know, I want you to think about this. All the products that we bring to you, all these products, all this, this equipment uh, that we bring to you for your health, um, I used all of it. I used all of it, and they told me that I am now cancer-free. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Bob, because I've, I was using your products, too. Alrighty, now we bring in Ann from the blood flow. Are you there, Ann? I am. Can you hear me okay? Yes, ma'am. The floor is yours. Go right ahead. Okay. Well, thank you, Frank and Tink and Walter and Bob and everyone. Um, again, I'd like to talk about our amazing stem cell increasing, blood flow increasing net that we teach people to get in their home for as little as $65 per month. And remember, it's biblical. Life is in the blood. And the life-giving stem cells that are coming out of our bone marrow every day are the secret to staying in good shape, okay? We need all our nutrients and all our stem cells to be able to get where they need to go. And um, it's the blood that carries all these life-giving stem cells to where they need to go to renew, repair, and regenerate the areas in our body that are breaking down due to the aging process. And in 2019, scientists announced to the world that all chronic disease is only caused by two problems. And those two problems are, number one, not, in, not having enough stem cells, getting where they need to go. And number two, well, what carries your stem cells? That's your blood. So we get this amazing match, and all we have to do is lay down it once a day um, for eight minutes, or twice a day, ideally. And in eight minutes, we're going to have 20 to 60 percent more stem cells coming out of our bone marrow. And all those stem cells with this increasing blood flow mat can get where they need to go to fix up our problems. And um, to me, miracles for me that occurred within only a short period of time of me getting this mat six and a half years ago, within um, eight weeks, people were telling me I had way more hair coming out of the top of my head. And as, you know, we get older, we lose some of our hair. And, um, you know, we don't want that to happen. And I had no idea that having all that good blood flow, taking my nutrients and stem cells where they need to go, um, I could regrow my hair. But um, I was very happy with that. And my baby cataract went away. And since uh, six and a half years ago, it's never come back. And with all that extra good blood flow, taking my nutrients where they needed to go, I got so much more energy that I still have to this day at age 70. And so I keep going strong, 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 where even my 50-year-old friends 
um, they're saying, oh, I can't come out tonight and I'm too tired. Well, I have amazing energy and I had no idea before I got this mask that it all is due to having good blood flow and a lot of stem cells. So if anybody would like information about this mask, all they have to do is call us at Boomers Forever Young and we'll send out some a nice testimonial videos and uh, other videos about this technology. You can do your own research uh, to see if you'd like one of these amazing mats in your home. And you can just reach us at 727-443-2500. 727-443-2500. And thank you very much, Frank. Thank you, right. Ann. God bless you, sweetie. Walter? Thank you. Yes, sir. Floor is yours. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, Frank, I just want to let you know that uh, Ron won't be on tonight because he's in the middle of a gigantic project. Um, no worries. With, uh, no worries. Go right ahead. Five minutes. Okay. Okay. All right. Great. Um, I just, my name's Walter Lindstrom, and my phone number is 269-447-3731, and I'd like to talk to you about the car cycle. If you go to my website, FrequenciesHealth.com, F-R-E-Q-U-E-N-C-I-E-S, health.com. Um, you can take a look at it. Um, you click on the, um, the shop button and then go to the car cycle and take a look at it. Um, what it is is that people, um, especially the elderly, will make get over it. Yeah. Hey, Walter. A special. Yes, sir. Okay, we we're, we we muted it. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Um, they uh, especially for the elderly. Um, when they start taking the freedom and um away from the older people, where they can't like they have to take Uber, they have to take you know bus, they have to take this. I mean, totally inconvenient, take your freedom away. With this, this is a, um, a, um, a car cycle which goes by bicycle rules. So you don't need, need a driver's license, you don't need license plates, and you don't need insurance. So all the people can use this without having those things, and it's totally green. It goes by the we have solar panels on the top, charge the batteries, and you don't need gas, you don't need oil, and you don't need maintenance for that. It's all front wheel, it's gull wings, it's totally enclosed, and it goes 25 in the city. It goes eye to eye with um, other cars and SUVs, and it's very, um, it has an off-road um, button where you can actually go 60 miles an hour. It has like a 200 mile range on it, and you can go, um, go. I mean, you can go places, and it's charging as you're driving because there's wind turbines on it also, and also braking. It has, it charges the battery. Um, the thing is that we're um, building a factory in the United States, and all. The car cycles are going to be purchased because of all the delays that they had. They caused lots of problems. And they're going to build the factory in the United States with American workers and American parts. And if, here's the update. The update is, is that within 10 days, we're going to have the prototype. And when we get the prototype, we're going to run the prototype and then try to put it through the pace and then find out if there's anything wrong with it. And we're like real close to saying, hoping that it's not, there's nothing going to be wrong with it. And then we can take orders. So Ron said that we can um, put out a certain amount of car cycles per month at the factory here. So if people are interested in it, please call me at 269-447-3731 or go to the website and take a look at it. And um, here's what I think Frank is very interested in is that it's also a generator for the house. So it'll put out 6,000 um, 6, watts, so, so it will power your house up in times of trouble. And then you won't go out with 110 electricity. And Frank, do you have any questions about anything? No, just that when you do get it, 
we'll be very interested. Bring us all the pictures, the prices, uh, all the data that you can. This is an interesting product. It's a vehicle, and it's also uh, a generator. And because it's uh, a vehicle you, that you can put in your garage, um, you're protecting it. When people buy this... Right, and also you can, what you can do is turn off the um, power and plug it into one plug, and if that's uh, attached to your overall power, that it'll, it'll power the whole house with electricity for your fridge and your lights and, and all that. And, and guess what? Yeah. Um, um, I get to bring the prototype to Saugatuck, Michigan, where I live, and we're going to put it on display for a week in Saugatuck because people want to come to the Midwest. Or um, we're going to also have a bash in um, New York City also, and I'll keep everybody updated on that. Well, that's good, Walter. When you get more information, we want to know because, yeah, this is a okay. very interesting product. Love you, my brother. Yeah. God bless you. Love you, too. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kona. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Tink. Thank you, sir. Well, family, yeah. we get back to our study, and, and, and as, uh, as always, everything that I say is just strictly in my opinion, okay? Strictly in my opinion. Uh, give me a second to move this a little bit over this way, maybe, like that. That should help, I hope. Yeah. Oh, that was already moved by you. Sorry about that. Alrighty, final article number 1,763. Buma. Oh, that's a friendly name. Uh, Buma, a platform for Arab payments, holds an interactive workshop. Now, a workshop is where you teach, where you show, you demonstrate. What do you think it's for, family? Buma, it, you, they're, they're teaching the CBI something? No, Buma is teaching the Iraqi citizens something. Buma, platform for Arab payment, holds an inter, uh, interactive uh, workshop to share the main developments and practical experiences in several areas related to the function of the system. I know it sounds complicated, but it's not. Buma is now teaching the citizens the same way the CBI is teaching the citizens. By the way, Teresa Russell... Thank you kindly for your financial contribution. Thank you so much. This article, uh, I say up here, if you notice in my blue writing, I say this is for the new small category notes, family. The type of payment, Buma, a platform, and explaining to the citizens. Right here, it tells you over 200 participants were there. Very interesting article. Education. It's education, not of the economic reform, but of the monetary reform. And who's it for? The citizens of Iraq. Yeah, the, the, is, is Buma educating uh, Kazimi? Is Buma educating the CBI? They're educating the citizens of Iraq on what they're about to do with the equipment, the devices, the things that they're going to be using in their country. Final article number 1,764. Alawi, to political forces... There's no solution except through a just and urgent national dialogue. Even Alawi wants peace with Kazimi. And it's really not that hard to believe it. Because right about here, now when was this? That says the 13th. Tink, when was the 13th? About Saturday. Oh, it was Saturday. And uh, poor uh, the Minister of Finance, uh, Alawi, uh, pardon me, the former uh, Prime Minister, Alawi, is coming in here and he's saying that, yeah, you know, the only way to solve our problems is to talk. But the key to this article is that the, the only solution to our problems is not to talk to Maliki or the framework. Even Alawi wants peace with Kazimi. Alawi knows exactly what Kazimi's doing. He's a former prime minister. Final article number 1,765. Al-Tanini. All right, what you got? The federal courts can dissolve parliament according to these articles. Um, to which I say up on top, 
in my opinion, it looks like it's going to be this way. The federal courts, uh, in my opinion, family, already dissolved the government. The federal courts already dissolved Parliament a very long time ago, many, many months ago. Cut me a break. What in the world is that guy talking about, Tank? Just watching him. Yeah. Yeah, one more and he's gone. In the meantime, um, this here is uh, a way to dissolve parliament i will agree i will agree but tanini to be honest with you the federal courts are not needed to dissolve parliament parliament is dissolved it's been dissolved in fact in about another 10 more articles i will read an article where it says parliament is dissolved final article number 1700 oh by the way what did i say i don't, I don't even oh yeah i read that already Final article number 1,766. Efforts uh, to establish a national bank inclusive of government banks in Kurdistan. Wow, a national bank inside of Iraq. Not for a program rate family. Now granted, this is for the Kurdistan region, for their people, for their area, but it's all Iraqi citizens. And when you read it, it looks like it's educating the Iraqi citizens on their monetary reform. Final article number 1,767. Oh, by the way, did I, I, I don't know if I read my blue, oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm reading the blue title, that's why I went back. Final article uh, 1767. In the presence of the United Nations, the new generation calls for a meeting in Baghdad to dissolve pro uh, parliament. To which I say, uh, citizens petition the United Nations for a new parliament. Okay. Hey, uh, UN lady, you don't have to come into Iraq and tell them that they have to sit a government, that they have to come out with the budget, that they have to come out with the reforms. Who are you? Why do you need to come in there and bother them and tell them what they're already doing? And as far as uh, uh, the, 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 the parliament goes, it's already dissolved. And who called for it, United Nations representative who calls for it right here the new generation calls the new generation in other words the iraqi citizens are working with the new government that they know has a dissolved parliament in it in red why is this stubbornness and the results is that you will go to dissolve parliament so 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 what are you waiting for we the new generation are calling for this now, granted, this was uh, Saturday. Since then, family, article came out saying that parliament is dissolved. A parliamentary bloc calls for an expanded meeting in Baghdad to discuss dissolving parliament. See where all these articles are leading to? Soon you will see the article where it says it's dissolved. Yeah, I know it's dissolved. And family, how long have I been telling you? Here, check this out. See if this sounds familiar. Hey, family, don't, don't worry about the prime minister. Don't worry about the prime minister. It's Kazemi. Well, no, Frank, they got to vote him in. Oh, okay, whatever you say. Hey, family, don't worry about the, pre the three presidents. One of them has to be a Kurd, and it's, that's why Malik is so angry because he can't bring in what he wants. They got two presidents. They need just one more. He wants his little buddy, but it's not going to get it because it has to be a So stop worrying about it. Oh, no, Frank, Malik is uh, in charge, and he's going to put... Whatever. Hey, family... Will you stop worrying about the monetary reform? It's already <laughs> being used, in my opinion, by Kazemi uh, it, with his cabinet. Now, oh, no, Frank, no, no, no. Uh, they haven't released uh, the new exchange rate yet. That's true. I didn't say that they did. I'm telling you that they're using a new set of books. They're using an exchange rate. I didn't say it was announced to the citizens. I never said that. A leader in the framework reveals a decision within the leaders due to the sit-in in front of the green zone. To which I say, yeah, Iranian rhinos. Iranian rhinos fight with each other, and that's a real good thing. The same way that we have rhinos fighting over here on our side of the river. Yeah, 
you got the same type of environment that it's in their government. You got the Iranian government representatives saying that they have made a decision. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, but what's the decision? Uh, well, it's a decision within our leaders. You have leaders framework? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, to sit in, in front of the green zone. You were supposed to last week. Where were you? Uh, well, uh, 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 Hedema Beef did not show up. Ali did not show up. Uh, he did, yeah, in other words, there was a very few of you that showed up. And what leaders made a decision for you guys to go and sit in front of the green zone? Uh, well, I don't know leaders, but uh, yeah, we, 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 we're sitting in front of the green zone. Okay, I hope you enjoy the weather. Final article number 1,769. Extensions, what? Dissolving parliament within, without forming an internal uh, inter, interim government means that Al-Kazimi and Abraham uh, will remain. Um, yeah. Family, does this sound familiar? Eddie, relax. Stop asking me about the parliament. Stop asking me about Kazimi. Relax. I keep telling you over and over and over again, Kazimi is your prime minister. You got that? Kazimi already has his government. He's been running the government, the country of Iraq, without talking to Maliki, without talking to the to the uh, uh, the frame. The, uh, what is it? The uh, the state state frame. I can't even remember. You know who I'm talking about. Their party framework. Framework. Thank you. Yeah. So Eddie, chill, relax. And then Eddie sees. Wait a minute. Mr. Frank, we see articles that Parliament is dissolved. Duh. Does it sound familiar? Yeah, that's what you kept telling us. But how is it dissolved? We didn't see them dissolve it. Eddie, it was dissolved a long time ago, months ago. But Mr. Frank, we still have the Iranian people that show up in Parliament and they demand this and they demand that. And do you see anybody going to listen to them? No. Do you see Kazimi going to Parliament to listen to what they have to say, their petitions, and what they're demanding? No. Do you see Sadr telling you to go out into the streets and confront these, these idiots? Well, yeah, twice, but twice he's told us, no, stop, he canceled it. And I think you know why too, Eddie, don't you? Yeah, they're not showing up, Mr. Frank. Eddie, repeat after me. Parliament is dissolved. Of course they're not going to show up. Even they're starting to understand. So which I said, Parliament is dissolved. Prime Minister vote for Kazimi will be next. Not really. Kazimi will, oops, sorry about that. Not really. Kazimi's already the Prime Minister. The parliament is now dissolved without the formation of a temporary rescue government for a year. Uh, yeah, yeah, Kazimi is doing it for about a year. He doesn't even have to announce anything. Uh, it means only the survival of Al Kazimi and Dr. Braham, both of whom have expired terms, and the yeah, I know it is expired, huh? And the government survival, but without parliamentary oversight. Yeah, yeah. Kazimi does not need parliament. Kazimi does not need them to pass any laws. Fascinating, isn't it? Now, Eddie, do you understand why I told you let it go? When the smoke clears, you're going to see exactly what I've been telling you. Now, KTFA family, and for those other sites that have made fun of me, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. They still have parliament. Yeah. I'm afraid you don't know what you're talking about. Final article number... Oh, what time is it? Is it time? You've got two minutes. Two minutes. Final article number 1,700... Oops. 1,770. The Iraqi judiciary officially responds to al Sadr's request to dissolve parliament. To which I say up on top, <laughs> you don't have to go to the Supreme Court to dissolve parliament. 
because it's already been dissolved all year. It's a good article. It, it supports uh, 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 Sardar. The Sardis uh, block files a lawsuit. You can do whatever you want. Against the three presidents, you can do whatever you want, but those presidents are solid. You don't have, there's no room for you, Maliki. And he demands the dissolution of parliament. Well, of course you do. You're pissed off, aren't you, Maliki? They didn't leave you a room for, for president position, huh, Maliki? They didn't leave you a room for prime minister position, huh, Maliki? Your own people in parliament did not even show up to, to fight for you, did they, Maliki? Muy malo. Oh, muy malo for you, Maliki. Final article number 1,771. The governor of the Central Bank of Iraq receives the head of the Iraqi media network. Really? Wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Mustafa, Galay, wait a minute. Let me make sure I get this right. You called the media? Yeah, I did. But, 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 sir, the media is owned by Maliki. The media is owned by the, by, 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 by the, by the, the framework, the bad guys. I, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. And what do I put? In my opinion, the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq is getting ready for a media campaign with the CBI. This is what Walking Stick prepared us for, family. The governor of the CBI wants to make sure that the citizens understand what is about to happen. This is a beautiful article. One that uh, requires to be framed. Now, before we go any further, on to the next one. We're going to now go into our commercials. Commercial times, Jen. The first commercial that we're... Bringing, I understand what's going to happen. I know what's going to happen. And that, that I is, want it to happen now. That's right. That's you. The floor is yours, brother. I want it to happen now. Just <laughs> like everybody else on this line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see everybody in Hawaii. Is what I want to do. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> I'm on the beach, baby. See you there. I'll see you women in the mall. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey, this is Will Lambert again. Uh, I'm so happy to be here with you guys. Always have a blast with y'all. <clears throat> here to talk about a couple of products that uh, Frank and I represent that uh, have been very helpful for us. And uh, they've been helpful for a lot of you family members as well. <clears throat> People just can't stop raving over these fuel tabs, Frank. I had two people call me today. One was dying to get in and one was dying to reorder. And uh, <laughs> I had a fellow out of Canada call me. He said, I got five trucks. I need five times whatever it is. And I was like, okay. I was talking uh, to him, we, Will. I was talking to him. That guy is excited about what it's doing. He is totally excited. Yeah, he said he that the totally performance excited. of his truck, his diesel truck, is do is just great. Yeah, these fuel tabs are, are fantastic. Oh, yeah. Saving him a lot of money, a lot of money on the on the on the uh, the mileage, <laughs> as well as on the uh, you know I wanted to test the, uh, the the maintenance part as far as my car was concerned, and I'm about twenty one hundred miles over my last maintenance. Now, if y'all know anything about Mercedes, Mercedes can go for ten thousand without an oil change because they use the synthetic stuff. But right now I'm about twelve one, and I'm not experiencing any difficulties whatsoever. And I called my uh, my uh, my car guy. He said, "Oh yeah." He said, "You can go way past it." He said, "But uh, he said, why do you want to go way past it?" I said, well, "I'm just testing out the fuel tabs and see." I said, "When I get in there, I said I want to be there when you pull the oil out. I want to see what it looks like. I want to see if it's if it's still golden or if it's black." He said, it's probably going to be black, but according to the folks over at Green Fuel Tabs, it'll probably be still golden. <laughs> so I'm excited to see it. But, um, guys, it can save you quite a bit of money on your on your fuel. <clears throat> I think the, the guy with the five trucks is experiencing about an extra uh, mile, somewhere between one mile and three mile per gallon. And when you're talking about the as big as those fuel tanks are, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And uh, so if you'd like to investigate the, the green fuel tabs and see the benefits of it and what it might be able to do for you, 
just give me a call or a text or an email. I'm going to give you my information right quick. <clears throat> my telephone number is 910-690-6008. That's 910-690-6008. If you prefer emailing, you can email me at always saving always saving 77 at gmail.com always saving 77 at gmail.com <coughs> and I'm going to do something real quick let me uh, let me do something real quick yeah that's always saving 77 at gmail.com that's a new email address for me because I filled up my other one with y'all's emails <laughs> which is fine that's what it's made for <laughs> and I'm not going to buy any more space from Google. Uh, we'll just get another email address. That's cool. But anyway, the second product I was wanting to talk with you about today is uh, the Cotandem product. <clears throat> Folks, I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, just about every uh, disease known to man is caused by one thing. One thing. Oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is a cellular problem, <clears throat> and when you have oxidative stress in your body, uh, which everybody has, every mammal on the planet, if you're a porpoise, a whale, an elephant, a goat, a pig, a horse, or a person, you have oxidative stress. There's no way around it. It's just the way we were built. <clears throat> so, oxidative stress causes inflammation, inflammation causes Infection, infection causes disease. Pretty much all of them. If there's a way that you could reduce your oxidative stress, <coughs> would you? Would you reduce your oxidative stress? I would say yeah. I would say yeah. There is a proven way to reduce your oxidative stress. There's only one way that I'm aware of. <clears throat> and that's by taking a little yellow pill once a day. It reduces your oxidative stress by 40%. 40% in the first 30 days that you take the product. And over time, I would say over a 90-day period, uh, the oxidative stress is reduced by 70% or more. And the longer you take it, the more it's reduced. So what does that mean for you? That means you're a lot less likely to have some sort of infection in your body or have some sort of disease in your body. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. <clears throat> now, we do have people that do get sick while they're on the product. They do. But how much worse would it have been if they hadn't have been on the product? That's the question. So we're anxious to tell you more about that, send you some information. And uh, you might not think that your disease is caused by oxidative stress. You're wrong. You're wrong. I can prove it. I can prove it. So um, just get with me and let's discuss it and see what we can do for you. We'll go over the cost of it and things of that nature. It's very inexpensive. Here again, you can call me at 910-690-6008. That's 910-690-6008. Or you can email me here again. It's always saving 77 at gmail.com. Always saving 77 at gmail.com. And I'll be happy to tell you all about the green fuel tabs or the uh, protandum product that will reduce your uh, oxidative stress. I've already got people texting me over here, Frank. But um, yeah. anyway, it's a pleasure to be with you. Thanks again. And to those critters over at Iraq to get their jump together, let's do it. Let's do it. We'll try. No trying. <laughs> <laughs> all right. God bless you, brother. God bless you. You're done? Oh, okay. I thought he was going to go to the other one. I'm glad. I'm glad we're back on the air. That's what I'm glad of. Yeah, that was a shame what they did to me, but I have to be very quiet, very polite, and just move forward. 
One well, day. get used to it because it's probably going to happen again. You're probably going to wind up on Rumble or someplace like that, which well, is okay. That's a I don't, good, that's I don't a good know. Style. I don't know if Rumble offers me uh, financial, re, you know, uh, <laughs> monetary. You need to investigate it. Yeah, you need to investigate. Yeah. It, I'm telling you. Yeah, I'd like to investigate. I can hook you. I can hook you up with uh, one of uh, one of my partners. He's he's just like you. I do the same thing for him that I do for you. And I, I'll hook you up with him, and he can let you know all about it because he got kicked off YouTube years ago. Yeah, let me know. What I was going to do is they, they went back to 2019, and they kept moving all the way to 2021. So I thought I would go back uh, one year and just remove all my videos. I mean, what do I want them for? They, uh, they hate Jesus, and they hate uh, patriots. Yeah. That's just the way it is. Yeah, so it, and, All right, brother. And I'll talk I'm to you later. I'm going to get out of here before we say too much on this one. Uh, yeah, I hear you. Take care. Bye-bye. One, one more advertiser, Lynette. Are you there, Lynette? She's not coming. Oh, Lynette's gonna, not going to be with us tonight? Nope. Okay, then I'll take care of it. Family, this is LifeWave. <laughs> and what LifeWave does is that it stimulates the T cells in your body uh, to be activated. If you don't know what a T cell is, that's the very, very beginning. That's the primordial uh, uh, T, or excuse me, the beginning cells uh, that we produce in our body. They don't really have a function per se. They don't. But once they're in the body and they're in the bloodstream, then then they are specialized. Some of these T cells can become cells for your eyes. Some of these T cells can become cells for your brain. Some of them can become cells for your bones. You can see here that LifeWave has many different packages. Every one of these packages is a completely different department. Some of these packages will help you to go to sleep. Some will help you to lose weight. Some will help you with stress. But there are, um, there are many different types. And what I'd like to show you is this one. That's the X39. It's $150 retail. And we're selling it for $125. But you have to call me, not the company. If you're interested in getting this pack for $125, let me know. And what's in it is some booklets. Oops. I guess we got to keep that when I tore it, Tank. It's got some booklets in here to help you and guide you. And it's got this pack in here for a month's supply of these patches that you wear. Tank, you, uh, you were stressed out just recently by something that we were dealing with uh, on our form. Mm -hmm. And it uh, it tightened up your back and underneath your chin, you it got a little numb and we, we got worried that your blood pressure was maybe getting out of control again. What did you do? I ran and got an X39 patch and I put it on my left shoulder on the back and within 15 minutes, that stress tightness was all gone. And that's interesting, isn't it, family? We produce T-cells. They produce T-cells that then become specialized cells in your body. My wife needed help on her back. She needed help with the, neur the neurons uh, and the nerves that were all in a gangrene, you know, all, all, all under great stress in her back. She put one of those patches on and about 10 minutes later, that's pain, that, that, that tightness was gone. We bring you good products for a good reason. I would, I would hope that you would investigate these products, pray about them, and see if they're for you. All righty, so that takes care of LifeWave. We now walk in and continue with our study. Final article number 1,172. Representatives reveal that the Central Bank has granted more than $321 billion to uh, Ali Ghulam's bank. Well... The CBI con uh, controls corruption in her banks, in her banks. 
The Citizens family lately have been a little concerned that the CBI is still having auctions. They question even Kazemi and they ask, we don't understand why you're still having auctions that Iran can steal from. But the citizens are being educated. No, we already told you. We are in control of our banks. We're in control of our CBI. We're in control of our ATMs. We're in control of our auctions. So the CBI controls corruption in her banks. And this is an example of one of the banks that they just recently opened and made sure that they have a corruption series study. Don't be messing up. Uh, Eddie and the citizens are asking questions, and I just explained to you what those questions were, and I answered them. Final article number 1,773. Deputy Al Halabusi ignores, oh, I love that. He ignores 180 parliamentary signatures regarding holding parliamentary section. <laughs> and by the way, sidebar, sidebar, write 180 on the side of your notes, and we'll come back to that. So, Deputy Al Halabusi, hey, what? Maliki wants to talk to you. I don't care. Hey, what? They got 180 signatures that demand that, they, that we hold a parliamentary session for them. <laughs> to which I say up here up on top, 180... <laughs> 180... <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, and he ignores their request. Woo! It's tough. No man is an island except for Maliki. <laughs> it's tough because nobody is paying attention to them. All they do is cause trouble. All they do is cause trouble. <laughs> and that was the solution. In fact, this is a solution. Ignore them and create a dialogue with the citizens. Ignore them and create a dialogue with the citizens. Family, your next key word is dialogue. Enjoy that word. Final article number 1,774. Al-Sadr sets new, uh, next Saturday as a date for an unprecedented demonstration, to which I say, a change in reforms and a change in the attitude of Iranian corruption. That's what this meeting is for, and it's not a meeting. He's bringing out a million, but then... Two days later, or actually one day later, the next day, uh, Sadr comes out and he tells the citizens, never mind, never mind. <laughs> okay, never mind. Final article number 1,775. Uh, the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq meets the U.S. ambassador to Iraq, to which I say in the blue, in my opinion, well, the CBI works with the United States Treasury, not with the United Nations. Go home! Go home! His Excellency reviewed the efforts of the Central Bank. Oh, like, we need you to review what the CBI is doing, UN. His Excellency reviewed the efforts of the Central Bank to, to, to support development through the monetary policy tools and the direct impact of its initiatives on the real sector progress. The real sector progress is with Kazemi. You got that? And as far as the Central Bank of Iraq goes and what they're doing with their monetary policy, they're educating the citizens. And the tools are the cards and the ATM machines and the new small category notes and, and, and whatever. Final article number 1,776. The government comments on the possibility of restoring the dollar exchange rate and ending the currency auction. You think? The government comments. Okay, what's up, Kazimi? Well, uh, I think it's possible uh, that we should, uh, re uh, the possibility of restoring the dollar uh, exchange rate and ending the currency auction. And to which I say, double talk will cause you to lose your job. Isn't that right, finance minister? <laughs> Look, nobody wants to restore the dollar exchange rate, okay? Okay. But you definitely do want to stop the currency auctions. And that's why I say double talk. Something good, something bad in the same sentence. That's a good way for you to lose your job. Isn't that right, Minister of Finance? Final article number 1,777. Finance Minister Al-Alawi submits his resignation during the cabinet session. Oops! My bad! 
I'm sorry, Lowy. Too soon? I'm, hey, Minister of Finance, did, did I, did I, was it, was it too soon? I'm sorry, buddy. Finance Minister Halawi submits his resignation during the cabinet session. Yeah, because you're going against Kazimi. And that can be bad for your job, dude. You submitted your con your resignation? Yes, I did. Voluntarily? Volunteer. Hello? Is anybody over there? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah, so, uh, Alawi, what'd you do wrong? I didn't do anything wrong. Alawi, what were you saying that was wrong? I didn't say anything that was wrong. I don't know about that, buddy. I've got a lot of articles where we just never trusted you. And Kazimi is cleaning out and disinfecting his government and the CBI. Well, actually, Mustafa's doing that. Uh, Galay's doing the CBI. But Kazimi's doing a pretty good job, isn't he, Alawi? I don't know. Alawi, where are you going to go? I don't know. Have a good life. The Minister of Finance submits his resignation and Al Kazimi agrees. Damn. <laughs> I can just see that. Here, resignation papers. Darn right. Hey, what? Al Kazimi assigns the Minister of Oil the duties of Minister of Finance as a as an agency. Hmm. Hey, Minister of Oil. What? Don't let the door hit you, you know where. <laughs> What are you talking about, Frank? Follow in the same footsteps as Alawi and don't let the door hit you. Final article, whatever. With the resignation of the Minister of Finance, the dollar is falling in the Baghdad markets. Really? Whose idea was that? Wow, that's a genius move. You mean we get rid of the guy that was causing problems with the monetary reform and all of a sudden... The dollar starts to fall in Baghdad market. Well, isn't that exactly what the monetary reform is trying to accomplish? Hey, Eddie. Eddie. What? I, keep, I kept telling you. I kept telling you, sucker. Kazimi has a plan. Relax, relax. Remember, Eddie? Huh? How many times did I tell you? Yeah, a lot. We were surprised, Mr. Frank, to see Alawi go. Yeah, no kidding. Eddie, what? Kazimi and the CBI's plans is for the USD to fall. Final article number 1,778. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. The next advertisement is at 8 o'clock. Oh, good. I got 10 minutes. Uh, 8 o'clock. Tank, remind me, okay? Um, Al Sadr announces the postponement of Saturday's demonstration until further notice. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> Dude, Sider, that's the th no, the second time you cancel us. Sider, I mean, you have been our cheerleader. We've been having pep rallies with you and Kazimi every day. We're fired up to go and, and clobber uh, the framework in the head if you want us to. But... Al Sadr announces the postponement of Saturday's demonstration until further notice. Why? What do I say? Because the framework barely showed up in the streets, family. The Iraqi citizens are winning. The Iraqi citizens are winning, family. They know this. Do you? Final article, well, continuing with this, uh, I group them together when it's uh, important to keep them together. A leader in the Sardis movement. Sardis' life is in danger, to which I say, because Sardis refuses to talk to any framework member. That's the only reason. That's the only reason. Is there anybody else? Is there anybody else that's telling you that, the, that there's a problem? No. No, only, only the framework. And that's why Sadr's life was in danger. In conjunction with Al Sadr's mobilization for a million, the framework calls for preparing for major demonstrations. To which I say, <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, okay, whatever. The framework can't even unite. They can't even get a hundred people together. <laughs> 
So, Sider, yeah. Did you cancel the mobilization for a million this coming Saturday? Yeah, I called them back. I told them that I, until further notice. Yeah, I noticed that. Because at any moment, the citizens are, boom! But, I mean, they're ready to jump. You tell them to jump, they all, all they'll say is, how high, sir? They know what you're doing, Sider. Now, Sider, we need for you to talk to Kazemi. I don't have to. Well, Sider, keyword, keyword. You need a dialogue. I don't want one. But Sutter, you should show the citizens of Iraq your willingness to, to meet and, and, and talk face to face with Kazemi. I don't have to. I know you got all the power of the citizens. I know they love you. And I know that you're also backing up Kazemi. But it would really look good if you talked to him. Final article number 1,779. Minister Al Sadr, what? The framework Trinity is playing with fire. To which I say, Sadr and Kazemi and the CBI auctions tell the framework, talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. This article is telling you how they're still trying to steal, how they're still trying to get involved in the auctions. But Sadr and, K and Kazemi and the CBI will not talk to any of them. Not a single word. Nothing. Talk to the hand. Beautiful article. Final article number 1,780. The central bank is silent. Economists uh, diagnose the disaster in the currency auction and beneficiaries inaccurate. To which I say, Eddie, the CBI governor is in control of the auctions, not Iran. And this article explains it to you in depth. Even though the central bank is being quiet about what they're doing, it's not a disaster. The economists... The bad guys are saying it. And you know this, Eddie. You know this. Final article number 1,781. With the participation of 180 companies. The, what? 180 companies? The launch of the Herbal International Real Estate and Investment Exhibition. <laughs> Wait, let me just read that again. With the participation of 180 companies. What? 180 companies? <laughs> The launch of the Herbal International Real Estate and Investment Exhibition. <laughs> hey, Malik, to which I say, Hey, Maliki, are you listening? It was 180 companies. <laughs> sidebar, sidebar. When did we, when, when we last talked about 180 family, what was it? 180 what? Oh, my goodness. And Maliki, you were not even invited to this, were you? Do you, are you getting the point, Maliki? Final article, oh, and it's just beautiful. Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> oh, yeah, this is for a program rate. Yes, sir. Uh, hey, all of you 180 companies around the world, did Kazemi rewrite your contracts? Did Kazemi rewrite your tenders? Did he use a new exchange rate? One that exemplifies this. Come on, companies, 180. You can tell us. <laughs> and we now turn to, we had a lot of articles today, family. We now turn to page 80. And we uh, scroll down. And let's see how many articles we have here. That is why Al Sauter went crazy. What, what, what? A leak. Sider, you, you went crazy? About what? A leak of the framework plan to overthrow Al Sadr and isolate his current is implemented by Al Sudani. Wow, Sadr, so that's the bad guy, Sudani. Maybe he was the guy that put out a hit on you to kill you. No wonder you went crazy when you found out that the framework and Al Sudani are trying to overthrow you. You might as well say that they're also trying to kill you. But good for you. Good for you because you found out, huh? And what do I say? Framework awoke a sleeping giant. Big mistake. And here, I don't have the time to read it to you. 
You need to read this. Highlight this, okay? Highlight this, please. Read this. You'll see what they said. It's a nice, long article. Alrighty. A legal expert reveals exciting details about Alawi's resignation. The government has resigned in its entirety. So this is uh, explaining to us why uh, the Minister of Finance uh, was kicked out. And the only thing that I have to say about it, family, is the blue writing on top. Na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. What is the title of our UB2? Be Malachi, talk to the hand. Kazemi is disinfecting Iraq, family. Uh, did you ever think that the Minister of Finance was going to uh, <clears throat> get kicked out? I mean, resign? There are more surprises coming, family. There are more surprises coming. Al Kazimi, uh, tomorrow I will call for an Iraqi national dialogue for all the country's leaders. Keyword. Keyword. Again, dialogue. Tomorrow. I will call for an Iraqi national dialogue for all the country's leaders. Family, this is a Kazemi speech. He's given like three of them that are powerful in, in the last week since I've been with you. This is Kazemi's speech, and it equals the reforms. When you read this, there are five points. One of them here is saying, that is why tomorrow I will call for the Iraqi National Dialogue for all leaders of the country in order to contribute to finding a solution. Think about solving the issue. Uh, I wish everyone to be patient and encourages and, and, and courageous until we cross this stage to be able to build our country. Despite the absence of a budget for two years, things are going right. Hmm. Kazimi giving a powerful speech to the Iraqi citizens because he is establishing a dialogue with the Iraqi citizens and the country's leaders and family. There was no framework there. There was no Maliki there. There was no Iran there. There's no Alawi there. It was only the citizens of Iraq listening to Kazimi's speech. Unfortunately, Sadr was not there either. But that's okay. Sadr wants Kazimi to talk about Parliament and replacing it. And in this speech, he did not talk about that. And Sadr did not respond, nor did he go to that meeting of leaders. Al Kazimi calls for a national dialogue for the country's leaders. We will not get involved in Iraq's blood. That's what Sadr's doing. He's keeping a distance to a degree for a reason. On article number 1,785. Oh, it's time, Tink? Yep. I'll tell you what. I'm almost done. Okay. Hang in there, Bill. I'm going to bring you in very soon. Hang in there. Uh, let me just get this. Okay. Back. And, and Randy, Dr. Randy, I'll be bringing you in. Let me just finish this. Parliamentary finance. The fate of the financial surplus goes to the state treasury and there is no fear of it. You see, family, Kazemi is doing many speeches and in this last speech, he's trying to calm the citizens of Iraq. What did I tell you when we first started out? The citizens are confused. Why are we still having auctions? That's how Iran is stealing our money. And Kazemi comes out and tells the citizens, no, 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 no. Parliamentary finance cannot do that. The faith of the financial surplus that we have, I promise you, is we're taking care of it. No one is stealing it. You understand, citizens of Iraq? Yes, sir. And we believe you for that matter. Final article 1786. The leaders, boy, that's about four articles all talking about leaders of Iraq family. And none of them include Iran's people. The leaders meeting ends with five points and invitation to the Sardis movement. Um... This is here. It talks about the five points. They're all right there. One, two, three, four, five. But to be honest with you, they are not of the greatest interest to me. They're not talking about the subject that I want to talk to you about. But here it is in case you do want to see what the five points are. 
And that's our, uh, that's it. Okay, now we turn to our final two advertisers. Uh, Bill from the trust fund, or the trust company. Bill, are you there? I'm here, Frank. The floor is yours. Go for it. Okay, thank you very much. Hey, that's exciting stuff. Yeah. Hey, guys, this, <laughs> my name is Bill Johnson. I'm the presenter for the Protection Group. And the Protection Group is uh, is an answer to your prayers when you when you get the answer to all the, the other prayers that we've been having for the RI and so on. But there'll, there'll be a need for you to understand where you could put your money to get it protected. And the Protection Group has the answer with the segregated uh, asset trust. And with the segregation of assets, it, it can protect your assets, and particularly your cash. Your cash is totally protected from from any outside interest. You know, of course, it's not going to stop you from. If you know, it's going to stop the um, the banks from from hurting you, uh, uh, well, no, the uh, inter, internal revenue service and the banks and all are in a different ball game. But all the courts, it protects you from courts for lawsuits and so on and so forth. So this is this is a trust that sets up your assets and puts your cash into an asset all by itself and the it's called you'll call it a, 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 a asset management trust account where you put your money but what my job is and what i want to do for you is is to educate you so that you'll understand how to how to protect your money and how to operate this trust you first need to get an education the education from the protection group to you is free you know we have live calls on tuesday and thursday night at eight thirty. Uh, we have uh, a recorded call that's got the education information on it that's available to you 24 hours a day. So we have all the information there for you. I'm going to give you those phone numbers, and then we'll get back and let Frank, Frank, Frank and Dr. Randy continue, and we'll get on get on with this great news from Iraq. So my, the phone number for the call on Tuesday and Thursday night at 8.30 Eastern time, that's New York time, you know, Virginia time, Eastern time, 605 Three one three five one five six. Okay, six zero five three one three five one five six. It's going to ask you for a pin number. That pin number is one five five seven zero three followed by the pound sign. Okay, one five five seven zero three pound. And the education call is available to you twenty four hours a day if you, if you if you have the opportunity. You want to listen to the live call first time and you can't get the phone, whatever, to, to the education to the live call on Tuesdays and Thursday nights, either one of them, uh, then, then you need, then you at least need to take your time when you do have a minute and listen to the education call, which is about an hour and five minutes long, but it's available to you anytime during the day, 24 hours a day. That number is 605 313 Six zero five three one three five one five five. Same pin number one five five seven zero three pound. Okay. What we're going to get here is we're going to learn how to learn how to protect your assets in a trust. You're going to have an opportunity to leave a legacy for your family. You'll pay. You'll pay when you pass away. There'll be no inheritance taxes that your family would have to pay. If you don't have a trust and you have a lot of money, then you could lose as much as fifty percent of your taxes for death tax and you don't have any when you have a trust. So it's just, there's got a lot of advantages and I can't, I, I could talk and talk and talk and talk and talk for five minutes is not long enough. So my name is Bill Johnson and my phone number is 865-300-1953, 865-300-1953. If you have any questions, anything, you wrote the numbers down incorrectly. Don't worry about it. Call me. I'm available, and I always return my calls to you. Thank you, Frank. I appreciate you, man. Thanks, Jan. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you, Bill. God bless you, sir. And uh, family, we bring in Randy. Dr. Randy, are you there? I'm here. Thank you so much. Yes. And uh, by the way, trusts are super important. So uh, I hope everybody sits in and listens on that because I definitely have operated out of one for many years, and oof, it's a lifesaver. Yes. So. <laughs> Yes. So frank26.youngevity.com, you guys see that up there. Uh, that is Frank's link. Anytime anybody does anything uh, with that link, frank26.youngevity.com, that is helping to support his show. And it's very important that everybody is on the baseline package, which is called a brain and heart pack. It has five different products in it. 
and it's great for the brain, the heart, the cardiovascular system, just everything going on in the body. One product alone is the strongest mineral product on the market, and it comes out of Utah, uh, mostly. The mineral mines are there, and it has over 215 ingredients in it. Uh, I heard today from a, a lady whose daughter had a baby, and at three months of age, the baby is in the hospital with, you know, that sickness that's been going around without having to say it. Um, and I asked if the mother uh, took any form of something in her arm, and the answer was no. Um, so here the baby is in there, and they found out that the baby has a murmur, a heart murmur. And they want to do open heart surgery on this baby right away. And I said, well, you know, if there is a murmur, I'm surprised they didn't find it right at birth because it would have been there. And uh, I wouldn't race into a surgery. I can't tell you what to do, but I wouldn't race into a surgery. I would definitely get a second opinion about that. But here's the thing. If you have a loved one that's pregnant or you know that they're going to try and get pregnant, that break would come from the mother's side. Anytime there's like a type 1 uh, diabetic or any kind of anything that goes wrong with a baby, it's the break in the mother. The mother was deficient in some way, shape, or form or all the way around. And the prenatals are not powerful enough. They're a super low dose because it's going by a guideline uh, from the government. And, you know, they like tiptoe into everything. So you, you want to definitely have more. So... Go to that site or reach out to me as a naturopathic doctor. It's always good to have a, a naturopath on call. Let me tell you, Frank and Jam, there are so many people that listen to your show that in an emergency type of situation, they text me and say, Dr. Randy, I'm at the hospital and this is what's happening and this is what they're doing. And I tell them my thought on that without getting into detail here on the call. But I also wanted to bring up a gentleman, I believe he is one of your listeners, who's been with the protocol, the program, with me for about three months. And everybody has a very specific program. It's not a one-size-fits-all at all. And this gentleman told me he's following everything I'm telling him to a T, and he has lost 50 pounds in three months, and his blurry vision is completely gone, and we're getting his blood sugar level issues under control to get him off of his prescriptions that he's been on for 30, 40 years. So, you know, if, you, if somebody is listening to this tonight and they're having digestive issues, blood sugar issues, blood pressure issues, bone and joint issues, anything related to any organ, heart, kidney, spleen, liver, uh, anything, you know, where you're getting like a dementia, uh, if, you're, if you see varicose veins or you have hemorrhoids or you're losing your hair or the hair color, uh, if you're having a prostate issue, whether it's enlargement, a cancer, um, you know, uh, ED, anything, female, on the female side, cysts, PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, as they call it, is epidemic levels. Uh, thyroid, epidemic levels. These things, as they come on well past birth, are reversible. And why do I say that? Because if you weren't born with it and the mother didn't have the break, then it's, and it's also not hereditary just because grandpa had something and then mom had something. It just means you didn't probably stray far from the apple tree and you're doing some of the same toxic habits. And even if you haven't done that for 20 years, but you still have, let's say, a spleen issue or a heart issue, again, it's not hereditary. It would have been a problem at birth, but it came on later in life, which means it's something you did or are doing. So... Uh, anything, you know, uh, female hormonal, the autoimmune fibromyalgia, uh, gallbladder issues, if people have had the gallbladder out, there's things you're supposed to be on for the rest of your life. Um, any, uh, you know, <clears throat> skin discolorations or issues. And Frank, I did send you some photos if you want to show those while I'm talking. Uh, they're on your cell phone. I had sent them to you just about 15 minutes ago. Uh, any kidney bladder issues, if you have cracks in your tongue, crevices, pits, bald spots, or I hear this one all the time, the geographic tongue, oh, it's supposed to look like that. No, it's not. These are organs that are out of sync, and they need help, and they're screaming for help. Uh, MS, muscle cramps, nerve, nerve issues, uh, obesity, obviously, 
because uh, we just talked about that, pancreas issues, pica, uh, tonsil issues, any of these ringing a bell with you, stroke, uh, shingles, chicken pox, those are big in the in the news right now, Renaud's synd- syndrome, um, you know, you name it, uh, menopause should be a non-issue. If somebody's uh, suffering anything that has to do with stones of any kind, I don't care where they are, you need to be reaching out. Moles of discoloration. If you have anything other than a normal fingernail, if you have spots or shooting like, uh, you know, like almost like look like starbursts or cracks that won't go away or black streaks or brown streaks, those all mean something. Those are your organs, you know, screaming. If you have lines, all over your forehead or in between the eyebrows above the nose, those are organs, you guys. And I look at those and then we get those organs in check. So here's the information. 844-275-1056. 844-275-1056. You can call to schedule. I have two different types of analysis. One is where I'm looking at the top or bottom of the tongue only. And that one is free to the frank listeners. Or a full analysis, if we know that there's major issues, I want to look at all the organs. I want to look at the fingernails, the face, the tongue, uh, different things on the body that are out of sync. I have you fill out a three-page questionnaire, and I get back to you with a full report and a protocol laid out specifically to address those issues and have it shipped straight to your door. And I have the most amazing assistant, Julie, who will stay on track of, of you and your account. And every 30 days, you're sending me fresh sets of photos. And it's amazing. Yeah, I see in the comments, shingles isn't fun. That's right. It's very painful for people. So 844-275-1056. My name is naturopathic Dr. Randy Shannon. I'm out of Miami. You do not have to come to me to see me. You're going to send me your photos. Everything is done virtually. I operate all over the world, literally in 20 different countries and all the states. And I would love to see you (laughs) stop sitting at home and suffering. Thanks so much for listening. God bless you all. Hey, Dr. Randy, I'm sorry. I have my phone where I, I have my notes here with uh, Eddie. Uh-huh. And I was not able to show your pictures because then I'll lose my position. <laughs> but next next Monday when we're together, I, I will keep these and we'll show them then. They're interesting pictures. Okay, you're welcome. Thank okay. you. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye. All righty, family. Uh, yeah, we'll stop with the advertisers. I'll, I'll do more later. Uh, I want to thank um, no in front of me. I want to thank Roy Moore. Thank you kindly for your financial contribution, Roy. Very, very grateful for it. Thank you, sir. Uh, what we're going to do now is walk into the second part of our study, and that is the uh, report from Eddie. Now, if I recall, hold on a second, let me... Uh, Try this. Oh, no, that's no wrong one. Bear with me, family. I, huh. Uh, I see it now. Got it. Alrighty. So what we're going to do now is we're going to walk into Eddie's uh, report family. And I believe the last time that we were together was Wednesday, wasn't it? Yeah. I think it was Wednesday. No, we couldn't do Wednesday. Monday or Wednesday last week. We we did only one UB2B last week? Uh, On the 8th. On Monday? Yeah. So we didn't give them, wow, I gotta go back even farther. So technically Tuesday is where I should start with this. Whoa. Here we go, family, kick back and relax. Kick back and relax. Now, you have to understand that what you're seeing from Eddie, uh, look at here, this says uh, Tuesday, right? But that was, uh, that was nine days ago. 
So put everything in, 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 in um, what's the word I want to use? Put everything in its uh, place. Put everything in, in its uh, chronological order. <laughs> Here we go. Tuesday, August the 9th at 9 something in the morning. We are waiting on the results of the meeting that have been going on. It's like the framework. They think that they're running our country, but in reality, they're not. Now, we also have meetings with the United Nations, and all of these big meetings are with Kazemi. We're noticing, Mr. Frank, there's a lot of meetings with Kazemi going on. Some of them are with Chalet. Some of them are with Sadr. Nobody is meeting with... <laughs> I love that part. But nobody is meeting with the framework. Uh -uh. Nobody is meeting with the framework. We expect Parliament to be dissolved and the Prime Minister Kazimi to stay in power. This is what you've been teaching us and this is what we see. We don't know yet if this is what it's going to turn out to be, but we wait to see. Uh, Eddie said, due to the extreme heat wave, the government has postponed, postponed all work in the area for the next three days. And that's what happened last week. This is Wednesday. Well, we're going into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. If you notice, especially uh, those of you that follow us uh, on our final article thread, those three days, there was very little articles. Very little articles. They had to shut down the country. It was extremely hot, over 110. You can die in those environments. You can die. Wednesday, August the 10th, 7.30 in the morning. We have a big mess. Maliki is on television talking. He, that he, he should be locked up, Mr. Frank, for what he has done. But the crooked federal judiciary council lets him walk free. We are angry that Maliki has not been arrested. There will be no dissolving of parliament and no early elections if this continues, says the framework. Uh, the framework wants a vote. They can't, they can't get to Parliament because of the, us, the protesters. And a vote by framework is all that Maliki wants, his goons. So he keeps his goons out here by the green zone trying to cause trouble with us. But we will not allow that. There is no end in sight with us citizens suffering. Something bad will happen in the streets very soon. But that's where Sadr played an important part. No, go home. But Sadr, we're ready once. No, go home. Twice. Come on out Friday. No, forget about it. But Sadr, no. Then he told him Sunday or Monday uh, to come out Saturday. And uh, on Monday, he told them, or Tuesday, yesterday, no, postpone it. But Sadr, no. All right. So no, nothing bad has happened in the streets. We cannot afford that to happen, family. Cannot afford this to turn into, a, 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 into what uh, uh, Iran wants, into what Maliki wants. I said... Sorry, I couldn't communicate it. I was uh, feeling bad. Uh, as far as Iran goes, if you have to be forceful as citizens to protect it, so be it. Uh, we're hoping that you're feeling better, Mr. Frank. La, la, la. You are right uh, to get, you are right. We need to get Iran out. We have to be strong. Iran is losing their hold on Iraq. Uh-huh, uh-huh, right there. You see? Th th that's the beauty of Eddie's reports. It, it really salts and peppers the articles so that we can have a better taste. Get uh, Iran out. We have to be strong. Iran is losing their hold for Iraq, and they can't stand it. Uh -uh. Uh, Sadr and his followers will not leave, and framework will not be able to meet and they try to do anything, even me, we, we, will not, we, we will not let them have enough to do anything. Sadr and Kazemi have so many new ideas and amendments to make, and that's all the speeches and the points that, he, that, he's, that he's telling the citizens. 
amendments to make to law so this never happens again the only problem is that we cannot that we can't get to vote or try any changes with the framework uh, in the direction that they want to lead us and they won't give up their hold if they do they know it's over new elections will crush all the remaining framework members yeah yeah you see the citizens know they have the advantage the citizens know if they just work with Kazemi and Sauter, everything is going to be fine. Hey, one friend 21, thank you for your contribution, your financial contribution. Thank you. You say thank you, Jesus. Love you, Mr. Frank. And I love you too, one friend 21. God bless you. Um, they won't give up their whole day. Uh, no, it's uh, going to be over a question. To which I say, and that's the direction. That's the direction that it's heading for the framework. And Malachi, like we keep telling you, Eddie, uh, their, their voice is not being heard by anyone except themselves. You're becoming victorious. This month of August, yeah, I would love for you guys to sit the government. But this month of August, the citizens are conquering what was preventing the R.I. This is good. This is big. This is huge. <laughs> to which he says, exactly, Mr. Frank. Wednesday, August the 10th, uh, 145 in the afternoon, Sauter has asked the Judiciary Council to resolve the Parliament uh, and asked a Chalet, the president, to set a date for new elections. However, we all know that the Judiciary Council is led by pro-Iranians, Mr. Frank, so this will be something that they will not approve. We don't want to even pay attention to anything that they have to say. Uh, Sauter asked the Judiciary Council to resolve the Parliament and he asked Chalet, the President, to set a date for the new elections. However, we all know, we all know that the Judiciary Council is led by pro-Iranians. Uh, he's basically repeating himself because he's trying to get the point across to me that we know what's going on. And we know who's ca who's causing the problem. Uh, August the 10th, 5.52 in the afternoon. I say, Eddie, the formation of the government is, is the cabinet of Kazemi and the destruction of parliament. That is the control of Iran. Eddie, the formation of the government, Iraq government, is the cabinet of Kazemi that he already has. And the destruction of parliament, all of that, this combination is the control of Iran by Kazemi. Uh, Eddie says they want a ruling by the 20th of August, but we know that the Iranian-backed federal judges will not dissolve parliament and more than likely we will not see anything by the 20th. But we're holding our ground, Mr. Frank. Whatever they want us to do, we do it. Uh, Wednesday, August 10th, 8.15 in the evening. Uh, Frank Eddy said that he didn't see anything earlier uh, because this government official isn't working at the CBI. It, it's some government guy that did the interview, and he came out this evening saying that the dinar at this time would not float. Is this man crazy or what, Mr. Frank? His reason, basically, he's saying there was not enough dinars to cover the demand. Well, of course there's not enough dinars. We know we're going to get our new dinars. To which, uh, he says there's not enough dinars to cover the demand. If it did, which would be good, if it did, right, that drive the price up, sim simple supply and demand. But he's not the CBI guy. And he's not in control of the CBI currency nor the monetary reform. So we really don't care what he has to say to us. On, oh, I said, good. <laughs> to which I said, he is a Maliki moron. <laughs> and, uh, and he laughs. Eddie says that Maliki... Uh, Eddie says Maliki is trying everything new, saying some of the papers and the files on corruption that have been hidden and wait and waited to open up in investigation uh, very uh, were stolen by the people that stormed Parliament. 
How do you like the hypocrisy? Doesn't that smell permeate in almost every government? And lo and behold, here's Malachi complaining that, oh, well, the people came out and they stormed the, the streets and we couldn't do anything to get in to, uh, uh, to, to do a vote. He's stupid. You didn't have enough people to show up. And the ones that were there were chicken caca and they ran like crazy when, when Sadr uh, uh, threatened that you guys were going to come out. <laughs> I say all Iraqi citizens know the author of lies come from Malachi. Don't, don't worry about the BS. Don't worry about it. Thursday, 8 uh, 14 in the morning. Uh, Mr. Frank, th uh, tomorrow, Friday at 5 p.m., uh, we're going to be marching. Yeah. It's, it's all of us Iraqis uh, starting at the, at the bridge on the right side, outside the green zone, to protest against you know, the corruption and, and, and the so-called candidate that, that Sudani has put out for, for prime minister and against non-actions towards Maliki non-actions, you know, the judicial people, the, the courts, and non-actions towards Maliki for his crimes, this will be a very large, a very, very large number of people protesting, unlike what has, has, he means unlike what has not, never been seen uh, to this point here. Uh, Kazimi, we hoping, will be named on as prime minister and they dissolve the parliament, but we know the Judiciary Council Committee leader is pro-Iranian, so that's the mess that we're in right now. They ruled a, a caretaker government could not do what is needed to take action, and Kazimi was going to sit a government and move on with the white papers and both of our reforms, but this corrupt Judiciary Committee ruled against it, isn't that amazing? Evil judges are everywhere. But this corrupt judiciary judiciary committee uh, ruled against it. We have a plan to fix all of this. We just need the current framework to exit and for Sadr to give us permission. To which Sadr said, no! And he canceled. That was the second one. Uh, Frank, Kazimi gave a big speech today. What what day are we on? Thursday. So Thursday. Frank, Kazimi gave a big speech last Thursday uh, uh, saying about what his government has done since he has been in and how he already, uh, how he's ready to give the next uh, government the power. Look at that. Look at that. Kazimi tells the citizens of Iraq, hey, the government is ready. And there is the article where he says, and I'm even ready to give power to, what? My cabinet, to my departments. Oh. And Kazimi told you that, Eddie? Yeah. He's ready to give next, next government power and move along for Iraq, but he, it has to be for the good of Iraqi citizens. He went on and talked about the last 28 months, how Iraq only had a budget. Mm. I'm just going to read it. He talked uh, about how in the last 28 months, Iraq had a budget uh, for uh, at least six of those months. And then he continued to talk about, uh, about, uh, electric about electricity and the needs of citizens. And it sounds as if Kazimi is tired and he's ready to move on with us. The CBI governor says that the reserves are now at $82 billion. He was on television news and he said that it would be over $92 billion by, by, by the end of the year or higher. Oh, yeah, it was going to be much higher than that. Thursday, 9.25 in the morning. Frank, the framework today has issued orders to their supporters to come out and counter protest tomorrow, tomorrow's march by Sadr's group. 
uh, we will be in the millions, uh, and we will be in, you know, we will be in the millions in the streets. And I tell him, uh, look, the framework barely has enough people to show up at Parliament. These are just threats of an empty spider hole. And that's exactly what it was. And that's why it was canceled by Sauter, because he, he, he knew they didn't have anybody coming. Uh, I say, once again, ignore them and only pay attention to Sauter and Kazemi and the CBI. Uh, Mr. Frank, the streets will be dangerous tomorrow if they let us out. Eddie, for Maliki and their framework, maybe, but not for the Iraqi citizens, not for Kazemi, not for the Iraqi citizens, not for the CBI. Amen. No, because they have the advantage. When you sit on top of the hill, you have the advantage in what you're doing against your enemy. And that's where Kazemi's at right now. He's on top of Mount Everest. Frank Eddy says that the framework will be bringing violence, so that's why we're preparing to protect him. Uh, he, there will be no violence. I know that. Uh, in my opinion, there will be no violence. And so do the citizens of Iraq. You guys are prepared. God will be with you. Oh, thank you, uh, Dennis. Is that? Yeah, Dennis uh, Porter. Uh, like they say in Japanese, uh, thank you. I know. Okay, whatever I said. Uh, yeah, we're waiting. So Eddie says... Uh, He's only listening to the Finance Committee and the CBI uh, when it comes to the exchange rate. That's what his friend told him. And he said, this is all, um, it's all messed up for you uh, if you hear anything else. Look at that. Look at that. His, his bank friend told him, will you stop it? Don't pay attention to the rumors, Eddie. Only pay attention to the CBI. In fact, don't even listen to the finance committee and this, just listen to the CBI. Uh, when it comes to the exchange rate, that's what his friend told him. All the mess that you're hearing from the government and, and the cabinet members, so to, you know, so to speak, isn't worth the paper that it's, that it's on. Only the CBI and the finance have that uh, control uh, in the rate. So there is his bank friend telling him, uh, Eddie, you know, what he already knows, just reword it to lift you. I had a man last week, he called me and he says, Frank, uh, you, you think this is uh, 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 still going to happen, huh? I said, I think you already know the answer to that question. You saw my ub Tubi last night, in my opinion, right? Oh, yeah, 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 I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, I'm not asking for a date or a rate. I said, brother. I know you're not asking for a date of a raid. You're asking me, your friend, to encourage you, to lift you, to help you, to motivate you. You just want to hear it again from my mouth directly to your ear, person to person, right? That's all you want. And then he got really quiet and embarrassed and he said, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I said, don't worry about it. I get about a hundred calls a day. Yeah, I do. And, um, and I helped them all. Even the ones that spit in my ear as I'm trying to help them. Because this is what God wants. Peter, 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 stop it. You live by the sword, you'll die by the sword. So Jesus puts the, the ear back on the, that soldier. I don't want to make messes that my Heavenly Father has to constantly clean for me. Friday, 7.40 in the morning. Hey Frank, Eddie says that it's uh, 2.38 in the afternoon right now for him there and the march uh, is gonna start at five o'clock. Uh, it'll be on the right side on the bridge leading into the green zone if you want la 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 la. Uh, he's expecting millions, uh, not one, but millions today with both solder and the framework being there. Now the framework is trying to replace Sudani's name as prime minister. They're trying to find someone else because Sadr said no. Sadr says it makes no difference we give you to the 20th to dissolve prob 
for Parliament or else. Okay, let's see what happens around the 20th. <laughs> uh, Frank, Sauter just gave us another speech just now uh, saying to the framework supporters that that they are com they are coming to be peaceful. Oh, look at that. The, so Sadr, in a speech, tells the Iraqi citizens, we're going out there, but we're going out there peacefully. So he tells, he's now saying to the framework supporters that, that are coming, oh, he's saying to the framework people, hey, we're going to be peaceful and respectful. The fact that we want a government and free of corruption called on them to overlook corrupt leaders and come join all oh, with his cause. He he's trying to win over any of the frame any of the rhinos. I'll be darned. Well, good for you, sir. And come and join us with uh, with his cause uh, to serve the the parliament. Uh, he's on TV showing tightened security all over the green zone and even the provinces around Baghdad. I'm not sure if they're going to let us come out, Mr. Frank. I'll let you know by the end of today. I tell him uh, Friday at 10 in the morning, Eddie, notice how your bank friend says the same exact words that we have been telling you. Only pay attention to Kazemi and only pay attention to the CBI governor. Uh, as far as uh, the march, I don't know too much, but be careful, be safe, stay low. Yes, sir. Uh, sending over to all of them. Uh, Saturday, oh, another person. Travels and tastes. Travels and tastes. Travels and tastes. Uh, how do you, that's plural, tastes. So it, and like tastes. 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 I've never said the word in a plural you know, form like that. Uh, travels and tastes. Thank you. Muchísimas gracias. Muchísimas gracias de mi corazón. Humbly, very humble that you uh, help us financially. God bless you. Uh, he's saying safe turning. Okay, uh, Saturday, 2.57 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, safe turning up the heat. Safe? It is safe. Turning up the heat. Calling a million followers to gather in the streets. Protest today. Because nothing is being done yet. They have until the 20th to get parliament dissolved. If not, Sauter says, next level of action will be seen. Oh, what is today's date? The 17th. Yep. So, 17th, so today is what, Wednesday? Yep. Saturday. But, and that's why probably he postponed it, because he wants to see what they want to do before 20th. They will announce it, you know, the framework. Anyways, and I said, Eddie, he is correct. The President of the Republic has the power to dissolve Parliament, no one else. And regardless of how much the framework delays it, they only have so much more time before Sadr and Kazemi completely kick them out by dissolving everything and have early elections. Regardless of what Maliki and the framework or Iran wants, it is not their country. <coughs> also, <coughs> the election will happen very quickly because in my opinion, there really won't be an election. Uh, Kazemi, there'll just be an announcement. This whole call is in my opinion. Kazemi is in control of your country, and the CBI governor is in control of your monetary reform. Sunday, 7.38 in the morning. Uh, good morning, sir. The Judiciary Council Committee responded today. Ah, to Sauter. Oh, uh, Sauter's request to dissolve the parliament. The Judiciary Committee is saying it's not within their power to do this. Then why do you then why do you claim that it is within your power? Hypocrites? Uh, it's not within their power to do this, to which Sauter has come back and denounced the Judiciary Council, saying, Huh, it's only in their benefit to do things that they desire. How corrupt here. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's it's only in their benefit uh, uh, to lie. 
uh, benefit to do things they desire and how corrupt they are when they don't do the things that we tell them to do. We need new federal judges and they will be gone that are not corrupt. Then Amir is calling for all political sides to meet and discuss out and discuss out the political issues. He gave the political issues, gave to face to try and resolve. Let me try this again. So it's Amir. <laughs> Amir is calling for all politicians, uh, for all political sides, like they're going to come. All political sides to meet uh, and discuss out the political issues. Now, this was when? Saturday? Has it happened? No. All political issues uh, and issues he gave to, to, to face to try and resolve this. Sadr is telling everyone to form a million weapon march in Baghdad. Oh, jeez, Louise. <laughs> so, yeah, there's your answer, Amir. Sadr doesn't even talk to you. Sadr turns to the citizens that are eager bulldogs. <laughs> They're chomping at the bit to get out there. And he says, I got a million weapon march. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, it's cool to be with, uh, in control of, of such power, I guess. Uh, and I think Sauter is is doing the right things with it. Look at he's not letting them go out. It could have been a mess. Thank you, uh, uh, Jamia. Am I saying that right? Jamia. Thank you. Andy Weber, oh, God bless you. Uh, Maria Miller. Thank you, J uh, Jamia, Andy, and Maria. God bless you all for your financial contributions. Thank you. Sunday, 9.03 uh, in the morning. The CBI announced an increase in its revenue of non-oil-related items today, Mr. Frank. And this is to the, uh, they're saying that this is to the white papers. Ah, they're talking about the exchange rate, aren't they? And this is crucial for Iraq's economy to be able to have more than oil as income. And this will produce more stability. CBI keeps talking about the private sector doing so much better in growth. And this is non-oil revenues. Now, how many times do we say that? They don't need, they don't need, I believe it's called uh, the Dutch disease. They don't need the Dutch disease. The Dutch disease is when a country depends solely on one product to be their, 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 their income their reserves. Uh, no, that's dangerous. And that's pretty much what Iraq and all the Middle East does. They depend on selling oil. But Iraq is filthy rich. Their farmland, their farmland is one of the most pristine in the area. I told you soon it will shine like a diamond. Water. They will have control of certain dams and water and be very powerful. Okay, so anyways, we talk about that so later. Sunday, 1.39 uh, in the afternoon. Sadr uh, has given another speech today, calling this the year of change. I like that. The year of change. And he told his followers to adopt this slogan. Yesterday, a plan was discussed to... I guess Sauter must like Sam Cook. Sam Cook, a change is going to come. Sauter has given another speech today, and he's calling this year a year of change. <laughs> and told his followers to adopt this slogan. I got to adopt this slogan. He said, it's a plan. A change? It's a plan? He said, it's a plan. And, and, and this plan was discussed to dissolve Parliament and keep Kazemi and, 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 and for the reforms, Mr. Frank. Chalet is now on in their positions Oh, Chalet is, is, is on their side in their positions for one year when the new voting and then 
if that happens, they say that the current caretaker government, don't worry, the current caretaker government that has been under Kazemi all this time does have the authority to present and pass a budget because it is all tied to that new food security law already passed. Remember when we talked about that? What did I say? We don't need no stinking laws to be passed by Parliament. Remember those words? Uh, American Lejeune. 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 Uh, North Dakota, Pet Petrotech. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was going to say Petrographs. <laughs> I love fossils. I love fossils. One day I'll show you my trilobite collection. I love fossils. Yeah, I love hunting them. Authority to present the budget, and that's because it's all tied to the new point. Okay. And I said to him, Yeah. Yeah. It is the year of change. Oh, yeah. The year of change. I love it. I love it, Eddie. Not only is it tied to the food law, but it is also tied to the announcement of your new exchange rate and your new small category notes. I love it. I love it. <laughs> uh, Frank, I just sent that last post to Eddie. He says that a lot about to come out more on Malachi, and this will force him to go away for good. A lot is going on behind the scenes. It looks like our Kazemi has <laughs> has stuff on Malachi that he will soon release. Mirror images, ain't it? Across the lake. Uh, just to which I say, oh. Yeah, I can say this. Just like our government will soon, in my opinion, take over the House and the Senate floor to reveal the truth, so is Kazemi preparing to reveal the truth about Maliki and his terrorist goons. God is watching. Amazing. Oh, he says, yes, amazing. Eddie says someone better do something soon. The framework supporters now have pitched tents at the gate of the green zone and Sadr followers are still in the green zone. This has a, a dangerous tone to it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it has. I said, Eddie, or I said, notice how m many Maliki supporters are there in the tents. A fraction is left. They will scream, but nobody will hear them in the vacuum of an empty space. <laughs> and Eddie says, yes, 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 yes. Uh, Sunday, 7.52 in the evening, there was a big meeting today with the finance minister, Frank, the CBI governor, a financial team from Germany, and it's all about the reforms and the white papers. They talked about a ton of things, never mentioned the rate change, but they did meet and they talked all day. Uh, we believe that they were talking about the reforms, the white papers, and a new exchange rate. I don't want to read to you what I said to him. Uh, Eddie said, talked about private, okay, private sectors is for the econ economic reform and the other reforms are monetary. Uh, sending over that, uh, uh, and also next day, Sadr is calling for unprecedented march on Baghdad, uh, one million. Uh, it, it's never been seen before, but they're calling for a peaceful march. Yes, Eddie, this will be the largest in Iraqi history to overwhelm and chase out the Iranian jerks. That's what, what, what um, Kazemi and... Um, Assad are doing. Uh, yes, he says, I say the framework is down to just skin and bones of support. When they see the citizens, they will be overwhelmed and run like the chickens that they are. Eddie says that they know that they have lost control of Iraq and the Iranians know this. The Iranians know this. You see the improvement. 
This month of August, as much as you may want it, is a month of investing for security and stability for the reforms. This month of August has put the, Ira the Iranian terrorists in their place, has it not? Have you noticed that? I say the powerful thing is that Eddie and the Iraqi citizens know that they have won with Kazemi and the CBI governor. That is the key. If they did not have the support of the citizens, we would be back at square one. Frank, Eddie said that he thinks that they're going to finally agree to dissolve parliament and then make Kazemi and Chalet stay and then it say it is legal for them to form the government and the budget, especially with what you have told us. He already has his government. Uh, and then I say, yes, Eddie, as I told you, only trust Kazemi and the CBI governor. And I told you Kazemi had a plan. You have now seen it unfold. Congratulations. To which he says, yeah, 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 we, we did. We are seeing uh, his plan and it, it's amazing. Sunday, 1022 p.m. They're talking about the dollar exchange rate. They are, Eddie? They're saying that, uh, they're saying can't exclude it. Can't exclude it. Oh, wow, Eddie, for real? They're talking about the dollar exchange rate again, saying can't exclude it at this time saying need to strengthen the local currency and stop the auctions altogether but they say may won't they, but they say they may not stop the auctions but sell exchange dinar but sell and exchange dinars instead of dollars let me show this to you so you can see it so there you go on sunday in the evening when they, you're asleep, they started to talk to them about the Iraqi uh, dinar, the reforms, the white papers, and a new exchange rate. Uh, and that the auctions are really not going to necessarily stop. They're just being changed. What did I say? They will metamorphose. The auctions will change. And that's exactly what's going on. To which I say, once again, you only pay attention to the governor of the CBI. You don't pay attention to anyone else, any other person with an opinion about something that they have no uh, control or power over. Yes, he says, this is all from Alawi, the finance minister, and they're a bunch of jerks. Then I say, so when we hear from the governor of the CBI, we will tell Alawi what the governor of the CBI is doing with the monetary reform. Uh, Alawi, he is the, he's only a finance minister. He makes no decisions about the Central Bank of Iraq. He waits for the governor of the CBI to tell him what the next step is. He simply is expressing his opinion, which is absolutely 100% incorrect. Now, when was this? Let's go back to, well, Sunday. There you go. Sunday, you see that? That's what he said. And then this is what I said. But what I just read to you right now, and as you can see, I'm talking to him about people that think that they're in control, like the finance minister. And lo and behold, oops, oh no, it threw up on me. Thank God. And um, lo and behold, um, two days later, the finance minister hands in his resignation. We basically were preparing. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, we don't know. But we prepared uh, Eddie, as you can see, uh, for the resignation of the finance minister, telling him don't pay attention to him. Holy cow, hang in there. We got to go back to Sunday, right? It was Sunday. Amazing Eddie, you pitched tent gate Sunday. <gasps> what Sunday is this? Notice on me. Oh, I went too far. No, that can't be possible. It's possible. Here, here, here we go. Sunday. They talk. Okay, they talking about. Did I show it to you? 
because I got it all mixed up, I'll read it again one more time very quickly. Hey, backers. Thank you for your financial contribution. God bless you. Thank you. They're talking about the dollar exchange rate again, saying they cannot exclude it at this time. Say, and these are the good people that are talking. Saying there's a need to strengthen the local currency and stop the auctions altogether. But they say that they may not stop them altogether, but instead sell exchange sell and exchange dinars instead of dollars, which is the way it should. It'll metamorphosize. The auctions are there because when they sell their oil in American dollars, it's then converted into Iraqi dinars. Well, the auctions are now being changed that whatever they sell, their oil is being sold in Iraqi oil is being sold in Iraqi dinars. It stays as Iraqi dinars in their government. So the mechanism, the door, the open window, uh-huh, are they moving it? Are they moving it? Steal it, steal it, grab some, grab some. Electronically, just, 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 okay. But now that window is gone. It'll stay as dinars. There will not be an avenue, a door that opens where they can steal in the transaction from American dollars or foreign currency into Iraqi dinars. Yeah, those days are gone. Once again, you only pay attention. I said that. Yes, Eddie, Eddie said this uh, all from Malawi and the finance minister. Okay, so that part. See that? And then two days later, uh, I quit. Yeah. Of course you quit. Eddie, you understand now? Yes, I do, Frank. Big Sky! Big Sky! What's up? Thank you. God bless you for your financial donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Aww. Don't, don't put dates. You can get me in trouble. Don't put dates or rates on our form. Please, pretty please, with sugar on top. I mean, I suppose you could put, in my opinion, this is what it's going to be, but we don't need to do that. Uh, yes, Eddie said that this is from Malawi, the finance minister. Then I said, so, when we hear from the governor of the CBI, we will tell Alawi, the finance minister, what the governor of the CBI is doing with the monetary reform. Thank you very much. <laughs> tell Alawi to uh, chill. And then uh, Alawi, he is only a finance minister. He makes no decisions about the Central Bank of Iraq. And he claps his hands and he says, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then I say, he waits for the governor of the CBI to tell him what the next step is. He's not going to tell him. He's gone. What the next step is, he simply is expressing his opinion, which is absolutely, in my opinion, 100% incorrect. Silly rabbit. Okay, sending. Monday. Whew, what time is it? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock? How y'all doing? You tired? <laughs> I'm cancer free. Did I tell you? I am. All right, let's see how much, maybe about 15 more minutes. And if I don't finish, we'll just do another UB2B. Um, what's on Friday, Chink? A doctor, what time? We might finish up on Friday, especially with what I tell you about walking stick. Let me see how much more. Monday, 7.50 in the morning. Uh, today, Frank, the CBI is back on the news. Now, we're watching. We recorded it for you. They met with the United States ambassador, and that's the only reason we recorded it, because you told us to check out the U.S. ambassador, not the U.N. And the U USA ambassador uh, discussed money laundering efforts. That's interesting for a program, Ray. It's pretty obvious why he's discussing this and how Iraq has improved. Oh, yes, we have improved. And this is why the cash and gold reserves are so strong in our country of Iraq. Also, he's, they talked about the political scene that is still in turmoil, uh, that it's been uh, over 10 months and no seated government. And this Saturday, the largest call for demonstration is being set up. Uh, which Sauter canceled two days later. Monday, 10.45 in the morning. At the end of this week, 
we hear a meeting between Sadr and Amiri will take place. I don't think so. Uh, will take place. We spoke of uh, Amiri will take place. We spoke about this meeting two weeks ago. Uh, this is where we hope an agreement can come forth. A deal will be made. We wait to see. No, no, <laughs> no, no, Eddie. There are no deals for these people. Amiri is with, with Maliki. There is no deal. There is no dialogue. There is no conversation. There is no meeting. To which I say, uh, trust me, Eddie. Never mind. Monday, 1.36 in the afternoon. Uh, Frank, the framework says no real solution uh, is possible to the political issue. So they are going ahead to form the government. Bunch of troublemakers. Like, and they're going to form the government. You have the authority to form the government. <laughs> you can't even get into parliament. <laughs> Uh, to re the, they're going to head to form the government. And then, and, then, and then he says, good luck with that. Good luck with that. <laughs> you see how far advanced the Iraqi citizens are as far as the truth of what's going on in their country? Good luck with that. Oh, uh, no, go for it. They're going to head to form the government. Good luck with doing that. Then CBI is back on the news for a second time today, they saying that the fake news that is being put out recently uh, by people inside the CBI about giving money to the citizens uh, is not true. The CBI governor actually came out. He's telling the Iraqi citizens to watch their official website, only the official website of the CBI or maybe their Facebook site. Sadr is saying, no agreement that's being made. Sadr wants parliament dissolved. That's it. So isn't that something? The governor of the CBI, who is in communication, in dialogue with the Iraqi citizens uh, and with Kazimi, comes out and he tells the Iraqi citizens, hey, psh, hey guys, don't pay attention to any articles. Don't pay attention to any anything. If you want to know something about me, about us, go to the CBI website. And I gave it to you, remember, cbi.iq, remember? So that's what, they, what you need to do. Frank, the federal court again today says also they do not have the authority to dissolve parliament. That's just a nice way to say that we support Iran and they won't do it. That's right. That's right, Iraqi citizens. That's absolutely right. And you don't take this nonsense anymore, do you? No, you don't. To which I say... Eddie, how many times have I told you only pay attention to Kazemi and the governor of the CBI? I think at least three times, huh? Laughing out loud. Uh, and you are correct. You And you are correct. For Maliki and the framework to try to do anything, it will be a joke. It may, it may actually even be entertaining to watch these buffoons try to take the power of Kazemi's government. I don't think so. As far as parliament being dissolved, I told you months ago that nobody pays attention to the terrorist parliament. Nobody pays attention to the framework. Nobody pays attention to Maliki. Kazemi is about to introduce the vote for a completely new parliament. And the Iranian parliament that is there right now is pretending that they have some type of authority. They can't even get into the building. They know that their days have come to an end. Wow, we're still on Monday, 4.18 uh, p.m. Uh, sir, they say on television today that it is within limits to have Kazemi and his others remain and form a government and dissolve parliament, saying the political issues have reached dangerous fighting times. But we're not fighting anybody. And, this, and they're saying that this is legal to do and within right to keep Kazemi as prime minister until a period of, say, six months to one year. New elections, Kurds are backing this too. Once again, it, I say, once again, Eddie, when the smoke clears, Kazemi will be left standing with his government, and until then, all, all other conversations are useless. We agree with you, Mr. Frank. Yesterday, 7.42 in the morning. 
Uh, today we see a lot of pressure on the CBI, accusing them of allowing auctions to continue and only private banks and other investors and the corrupt benefit from these auctions. And they're saying that Iraq uh, violate, violate gaining nothing from these auctions and called on the CBI to stop this form of corruption. CBI had no response to us, Mr. Frank, uh, today to this when we asked today. The finance minister all of a sudden today resigned. <laughs> and Kazemi accepted his resignation. We're very happy, Mr. Frank. Although there was no reason given. But with this report about who is gaining who is gaining from auctions, the heat is on. And the fine minister, he resigned. He ran before it got too hot for him. Eddie, Eddie, do you remember two days ago we, repa we prepared you with the finance minister? Yes, we read the file. We hear now that a breakthrough is near on the controversy in the government. However, Sauter is giving instructions today on the million march, on the million person march coming. He's calling for a peaceful march, telling them where to go and where not to go. We know that he canceled it, but it looks like he's putting us in position by ass assigning areas for us to go. Yesterday, 9.34 in the morning, the dollar on the street is falling today in Baghdad since the finance minister resigned. And of course, you read that article, remember? You read that article to which I told Eddie. And that is the plan of Kazemi and the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq. You see, Eddie, by cleaning out, and what's the title? Talk to the hand, Maliki. By cleaning out the infection that Maliki has been, Um, your currency is gaining strength and the American dollar is falling. It's not being manip manipulated anymore. I know you're angry and you're complaining. Stop the auction, stop the auction. That's not fair. Uh, look at us people in the streets. We don't got nothing. Stop the auctions, Kazimi. Doggone it. This is not fair. Yeah. Hey. How come no excuse? No reason. Why? Why did? Why? Why did the finance minister run away? What's up? Somebody explain something to us. This is all Kazimi's plan. I told you he had a plan. You see, by removing the finance minister, which is actually still indirectly connected to Maliki and his people, uh, you just removed the problem with the auctions. Yesterday. Hi, Frank. We see that the Iraqi defense system is purchasing 14 fighter jets from France for 240 million American dollars and can pay that in oil to France, which will only cost Iraq about half of that, uh, uh, half a day of supply of oil that we generate uh, to pay it all in full. The, they're filthy rich. These n new nets, uh, these new nets, you know, the, the, what he means is incoming stuff. These new nets will help fight against the drones. Um, oh, nets, I'm sorry. These new jets, misspelled. These new jets will help to fight against the drones used by mil uh, militants in the northern region of Iraq. To which I said, Eddie, I told you that Kazemi had a plan for his government, and I told you yesterday, don't pay attention to the finance minister. Uh, now, today, you understand why I told you all this. We knew, uh, we, uh, it, would, it, it, it would be a good thing if uh, Kazemi uh, removed the finance minister as part of Kazemi's plans for you Iraqi citizens. Uh, get uh, get out now now get out into the streets when they when they put you out there There will be over a million. We think that it's going to be close to three million Defend your prime minister defend your central bank and as far as the auctions don't take that personal don't take <laughs> As far as the auctions don't Don't take it personal Eddie. You just don't know the whole plan and you never will 
you'll see it. As far as the auctions, don't take that personal. The auctions will still be used until they give you a new exchange rate. And Kazemi cannot explain to you what they're doing. And Kazemi cannot explain to you what they are doing uh, with these auctions because it's part of the monetary reform. So try your best uh, to, be, uh, to be calm about it, okay? Uh, I just sent this uh, to him, Frank, and uh, they are trying to have meetings tomorrow. Uh, Eddie says that there are meetings after meetings after meetings from the, with, with the good guys. But Sadr is saying, no, he will only meet Friday with Amir. Hmm. Hmm. Now, if Sadr meets with Amir, I think that would be a good thing. So that Sadr can tell him where to go. Today, uh, oh, we're in today, we're almost done. 9.23 in the morning. Uh, the federal court has postponed their decision on dissolving the parliament. Oh, for crying out. Make my what? Make up your... All right, so this uh, time the windshield wiper is, I think, on this side right now. The federal court has postponed their decision on dissolving parliament. Hey, you don't have to postpone it. It's already postponed. The federal court has postponed their decision on dissolving parliament until the 30th of this month. They gave you until the 20th. You're giving yourself until the 30th? Why don't you give yourself until the 12th of never? Budinsky's pretending that you're part of the government. Federal court has postponed a decision on dissolving parliament until the 30th of this month, and we hear that there's talk about Iraq has reserves up to 80 years. Oh my goodness, Mr. Frank, 80 years. And, I, no, and Iraq exports to three international markets on crude oil. The UN lady is back again for meetings, but Sider did not come to see her. He's demanding Parliament just to be dissolved immediately. That's it. Aha, you and lady. <laughs> Way to go, Sider. Today, 12.39 in the... Uh, I say to him, Eddie, like I told you, nobody pays attention to the United Nations. And yes, Sider is focused on one thing and one thing only, to bring forth Kazimi's government that will bring forth your reforms. As you know, son... As you know, son, as we have told you, Parliament was dissolved many months ago, in my opinion, many months ago. That's why Sadr and Kazemi do not pay attention to anything from Parliament, from the framework, uh, from Maliki. They are ignored because they are dead souls. They are ignored because they are dead souls. Yes, yes. Today, 2.50 in the afternoon. Uh, Kazemi, 2.50 in the afternoon. Oh, I didn't read this. Kazemi called for a meeting on all these today except for Saturday. Oh, okay. This is okay because we actually already talked about this. Uh, Kazemi called for a meeting with all leaders. That's the article. It's in a final article thread. With all leaders today. Uh, except Sadr did not uh, attend. He was invited. Uh, they came, and now the reason why is because the topics that uh, Kazimi was going to talk about are not the topics that Sadr is that interested in right now. Uh, they came up with five points to, to present to Sadr. However, it's nothing that, that he wants uh, right now. Uh, it, it not, it, there's nothing saying about dissolving parliament. All they came up with is to talk, and maybe the elections with restrictions. I don't think that Sauter, uh will like any of these five points. Yeah, well, that's okay, because uh, he likes all the other points that Kazemi is doing. And, and that's it. There it is. That's the end of our Eddie's report. Parliament was dissolved a long time ago, family, in my opinion. Either 
physically or mentally. Take your pick. Parliament was dissolved a long time ago. Physically or mentally, it was dissolved. Take your pick. Uh, I, I want to just very quickly do one commercial and then I'm going to give you walking sticks, what I want to tell you, and then we'll call it a night because I'm tired. <laughs> May I have that piece of paper right there, babe? And by the way, uh, again, I thank all of you that prayed. I thank you all that prayed for my well-being, for my wife's health. Thank you. And I need for you to know that God answers prayers. And if you don't know this, I'd like for you to try, try it. Try it. Go into a room by yourself. Get on your knees. Show a little respect. Close your eyes and talk to God. You don't have to be holier than thou and thee and, and all that kind of stuff you read in the Bible. Talk to him from your heart. Tell him what's causing you to cry. Tell him what's causing you to have great pain. Financial issues, cancer, marital problems, school problems, whatever it may be, pray. And pray with a sincere heart. Then when you're done, get up, walk away, and don't worry about the things you prayed about. Because if you get up and walk away still thinking about your pain, your anger, whatever it may be, then your prayer failed. When you pray to God, you have to leave it in His hands, in His throne room. God is the one that will answer your prayer. You see, my problem in the first Three times I was attacked. I was attacked four times by cancer. Four times. And on the third attack, I finally fell to my knees. I prayed, will you please help me? Please. And I got up. And for the first time, I, I, I even remember I, I told God, I said, God, my, my, this cancer, it's, it's yours. It, it's, I don't want it. <laughs> It's your. It's in your hands, okay. Uh, I'm not. I. I don't. I'm not even gonna think about. It. I gotta go help Jan. She's out in the garden, okay. I love you, God. I'll talk to you soon again. And I went out in the garden. I learned that when you pray to God and you ask Him for help, you cannot insult God by continuing to worry about what you asked Him to help you. That shows that you don't believe. You don't have faith in that prayer. You think God is going to even be interested in that prayer? Pray with all your heart, all your soul, all your existence. No shame in crying. No shame. There are no atheists in a foxhole walking stick told me. We all cry for God in that moment. We all cry for our mama in those moments. But I want to thank you because I went to the cancer center yesterday. The doctor told me I'm cancer free. Praise God. I'm cancer free. I'm cancer free. And it's because God did it. I know it. Four Oper 15 operations. <laughs> After the third one, they said, well, you still got cancer. I'm like, what? Another operation? And the doctor looked at me and he says, no, there's, we can't operate on you no more. <gasps> I thought they were sending me home to die. He said, we're sending you to immunotherapy. We're sending you to immunotherapy. I said, do I have a chance? 
<laughs> Even though he had a mask, I could see the big smile on his face. He says, oh, Frank, you have a fighting chance. What they're doing with immunotherapy nowadays for people with cancer is just amazing. And you do qualify. Really? So I went and they gave me, in three months, uh, they gave me uh, eight, eight uh, sessions of, uh, of chemotherapy. Yeah. That was horrible. <laughs> that, was, that was bad. <laughs> And, um, and then I went Friday, and they took all kinds of pictures of me. I drew a big smiley around my belly button. They thought it was funny. <laughs> and they took an MRIs. And uh, the MRI was looking, you know, you know what it was looking for, okay? And um, my chart, if you don't know, know what that is, they, they emailed my chart to me. And there it is. And my wife is reading uh, four pages she printed out, and all pages that she was reading. What did the pages say, Tink? They said, no, 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 no. It started with the head, the neck, sternum, the chest, the, the pelvic area. You know, it, that's what an MRI does. It segment mentally breaks you down. And... Uh, <laughs> My wife was saying, no, 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 no. I said, no, what? <laughs> they say there's, they don't see anything. What? So I called up my doctor friend in Cleveland right away. And I said, hey, buddy, I'm sorry to bother you this late, but can you look at these? We're sending them over to you. Boom, we send it to him. He called right back and he says, Frank? I'm like, yeah, Mike, did, did you read, did you see, did I interpret this correctly? Did I interpret this correctly? Is that what it says? He says then, if this is real, I thought to myself, what do you mean if this is real? Of course it's real. <laughs> yeah, it's real. What about it? And then he started to scream. You're cancer free. You're cancer free. You're cancer free, Frank. You're cancer free, buddy. Praise God. You're free. <laughs> And uh, yesterday we went to the the, the, the cancer center, and we uh, and we talked to them, uh, to the doctor, and he says, Mr. Via, uh, you 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 reacted. Is that the word? You reacted. Responded well? very well. You responded very well. You responded very well to chemotherapy. We don't see anything. He can't tell me that I'm cancer free. He's my doctor. Other doctors could tell me, and they did. So. There it is, family. I wish to thank you. I wish to thank you for what you did in your prayers. I pray for you. You pray for me. I have an amazing testimony to tell. My desire is to go to Israel sometime around May of next year. As that trip evolves, I will be sharing it with you. You will know the time, the dates, the, 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 the price, what everything. And if it's something that you want to be a part of, you're welcome. Well, to go, uh, if you can, uh, if you can put uh, that trip together, uh, I'll meet you out there. We'll see. And um, real quick, I just wanted to explain what happened to me. And, um, oh, uh, and a quick commercial. This is my broker. This is my broker, okay? And um, the company is called Novatech. Novatech, uh, I, I can't, I couldn't believe it. I've been with it now four, five, six, seven weeks. Um, <laughs> every Friday, they're paying me three percent. Sometimes it's more than three percent on the money that I have in my account with Novatech. I don't see this kind of return anywhere. Savings accounts, uh, CDs, uh, no. It's really interesting. If you have uh, a, 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 a time, if you have time, uh, Larry can send you videos. And that's his phone number. You just call him or call me and I'll make sure that you uh, get the information. You want to watch the videos, you want to study them, you want to understand them, then you want to take it to God in prayer like I did. 
It took me three months to finally say yes to Larry. To finally say yes to Larry. One of the companies that Novatech uses to generate their income uh, is regulated by the United States Treasury. That's what sold me. My broker and I, we're regulated by the United States Treasury. <laughs> we sell the NARS. I gather the information. My broker has the license to send it to people. That's our relationship. Anyways, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's my quick little advertisement. Now, I want to tell you about... Um, um, about my dear friend walking stick real quick uh, the doctors have told him that he has three to five months to live three to five months to live yeah they he could, he needs an operation the same one I had his right kidney just like my right kidney is gone my right ureter is gone and his right kidney that where the tumor is at where the aneurysm is at if they operate on him he has been wounded he has been destroyed his cardiovascular system is shot and they told him that no no you will not survive an operation you'll die on the table and walking stick told me <coughs> he said frank i've had four tours I've had every wound you can think of. And every time they told me, you're going to die. And I never died in the hospital. Never. And I sure as blankety blank am not going to die in a hospital now. So they're giving me three to five months to live. It is what it is, Frank. Now they're going to give him another immunotherapy drug. And supposedly... This also will help him. But in all honesty, all it's doing is just extending his three to five months. I'm making arrangements. Um, he's making arrangements. We're either going to meet each other halfway or, or I'm going to try to get to him. Uh, fly or, or whatever it takes. Um, we're making arrangements. to see each other for the first time I don't know what he looks like and um, it'll be also the last time but I'm not going to sit here and feel sorry for him yeah, that's what he told me don't you feel sorry for me I said yes sir He says, um, it is what it is, and I thank everybody at KTFA that's kept me alive all these years. I said, yes, sir. I prayed for my healing. You prayed for my healing. Our Heavenly Father answered that prayer. How dare I assume that my friend is going to die? When I can pray and ask my Heavenly Father to perform a miracle and heal him. That's what I will do. That's what I believe in. That's what I shall do for my friend walking stick. No tears. No feeling sorry. Pick up your gun. Pick up your Bible. Let's sit up straight. Let Mark, get up straight. Let's move forward. And we will pray. We will pray. We will pray that walking stick will be healed. Okay? Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you a little something. What is today? Wednesday? Mm -hmm. Monday. It wasn't, we thought it was going to be Sunday. But Monday, the two gentleman arrived at his home. They spent the night 
And the next morning they got up very early and they took off. They're opening up banks. These banks will be retirees the people that have fled Iraq during the days of Saddam, doctors, scholars, that's the problem with Iraq. They're missing the core of their society. There are many, many, many Iraqis in the United States of America. Some states have an overwhelming amount of Middle Easterners. Some of them are retirees. Some of them are expatriates. And some of them are, like I said, the, the men and women that, uh, that fled Iraq during Saddam's time. I talked to you about these banks two years ago. And I told you there were banks in the United States of America where you, American citizen, you have um, an Iraqi dinar? Oh, you do, says this bank. We'll exchange it for you for American dollars. Okay. Hey, can you, can I deposit this dinar in your bank and leave it there? No. It has to be converted into American dollars? Yeah. Why? We're a bank in the United States of America and we have to follow the, the laws, the banking laws, the international banking laws. <laughs> Americans, you can come into our banks. We'll gladly exchange your Iraqi dinars for American dollars. Um, Iraqi citizens, you can bring in your Visa, your MasterCard. We got the ATMs here. Yeah, we do. <laughs> you can bring in your key cards, retirees, you know, soldiers, everybody, whatever. That's what this bank is going to be for. Oh. So, um, these two gentlemen uh, came back. I think the best thing to do is to tell you that what I'm telling you right now is just a bunch of BS. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm sitting on my blue couch with you and I'm going, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <clears throat> these two gentlemen that uh, I'm, you know, telling you things about, in my opinion, they came back today. I don't know when they're leaving. They'll probably leave tomorrow. They don't stick around that long. They're very stoic. They're very... I don't even think they would get my, my jokes if I told them jokes, you know. They're very serious is what they are. So, Walking Stick and I would like to tell you some things. But it's not time to do that right now. I'm pleased. I'm pleased that we'll be able to talk to you maybe, maybe by next Monday, we'll see. Heck, if Friday, if, if this turns out as, you know, good, maybe Friday I'll be back, but for sure next Monday. And I'm going to go into ub 2 to go back all the way to 2019, and, and I'm going to just remove uh, my, my UB2Bs. I'm just going to remove them all because ub 2 uh, did not like uh, what some of them were saying. Hey, this is their house. And when you're in someone's house, 
You gotta respect their home. I follow the rules. So we will uh, be with you. We'll, we, we'll be talking. We'll be talking. And I, uh, I pray to God that we'll be able to give you some more information about what these, uh, about what this bank that is being established uh, through, through my friend's uh, firm here in the mainland. Okay, okay. I want to show the kids. If you have your kids, uh, any kids right now, bring them up to the TV. We're about to say goodbye, so I'm done. If we have any children, I wanted to do something. I want to, um, Uncle Frank wants to show you something. I don't know if I can. I wonder if I can do it like this. We read from right to left, is that right? So it would be, yeah, this, this direction to that direction, yeah. Okay, the way you're seeing it, right? Okay, watch this. This is so cool. And it works on the base nine, on the base nine system, okay? When I was a kid, I always had problems with nines. What's nine times seven? Hmm? Now you got your calculators or you already know the answer, okay. Uh, but I, uh, I struggled with nines. Now watch this. This is my hand on a base 10, but we're gonna calculate with a base nine. Watch this, you ready? Nine times seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's my seventh digit, right? It's like an abacus. Watch this. Put it down. The answer is 63. 63. <laughs> Isn't that cool? What's nine times five? What's nine times five? What is it, Hank? Nine times five is 45. 45. Okay, nine times five. Where's my fifth finger? Uh, right here. So the answer is 45. Isn't that cool? <laughs> uh, what's nine times nine? Nine times nine. Where's my ninth finger? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put that one down. The answer is five, six, seven, eight, eight, one. Eighty-one. <laughs> Well, it's nine times two. Uh, second finger, put it down. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Eighteen! <laughs> <laughs> ah, did I tell you I'm cancer-free? I sure am, and I'm praising God for it. Y'all take care of each other, and now we bring in our Pastor Kendall and our brother Andy. They're going to blow the shofar, and they're going to pray, and they're going to talk to you. And right now, we just went from 14 to 13. I guess they're not mathematicians. And I would ask you 13, uh, 1,300 to stay with us. Honor and glorify God through our pastor and our brother Andy. Gentlemen, are you there? Hey, Kendall, do you want to switch roles? You blow the show or I'll pray? <laughs> sure. Sure. Go right ahead. I, 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 listen, I may not have a show part, but it's going to sound good. <laughs> <laughs> Go right ahead, brother. Oh, Andy, I think it's for real. <laughs> well, listen, family, first of all, thank you so much, Frank. I uh, really appreciate all you do, brother. You know, we may not say it enough, but we do. We really do. We thank God for you. We really, really, really thank God for Tink because she's there. She's quiet. She's there in the background. But she, she's like the duck's feet, always moving, but you never see her work. So thank you, Tink, for all you do in keeping Frank in line. Thank you. God bless you. You know, family, tonight's ub 2 b was entitled Malachi Talk the Hand. You know, and I guess I can say that to all of us because, you know, the handwriting is actually on the wall. Read the handwriting because there's so much that's going on in the world today. We know that Jesus is coming back soon.
my prayer is that you are ready, that you are prepared, that you know him from the parting of your sins. With that said, you know, our church, our ministry, Faith Church Ministries, we share that a lot. And we help people because that's what Christ wants. That's what Jesus did. You know, a lot of times before he taught, he helped them, he fed them. He delivered them from some hurt, some pain. And we, we try to do the same thing. And you know, Brother Oki is one of our brothers. He's a preacher, he's a man of God. He's also a veteran. And he's, he, he, he needs our help. And so do so many others. And so when you give, I'm, I'm praying that you give with a heart to serve God. Again, if you desire to give, you know, please send a check or money order payable to Faith Church Ministries, Post Office Box 5212, Yadon, PA, that's Y-E-A-D-O-N, Pennsylvania, 19050. And just remember to put how you want your funds to be spent in the memo section. But please make the check or money order payable to Faith Church Ministries. Please allow God to use you to be a blessing as he blesses you. Father, I come tonight and I thank you, God, for everything. Lord, I can't help but to say thank you. Hallelujah. Praise your holy name for answering prayer we see it time and time again God you answer our prayers because you love us and Lord I pray that we would love you back by just being obedient to your word God help us help us God so that we can be faithful to the commission of the gospel for there's so many people that need you, God. Lord, we need you to change their hearts. We can do it. The only thing we can do, God, is be a, a messenger of who you are, a messenger to what Jesus did, a messenger to the freedom of the gospel. And so, God, right now, and I thank you for those that are still here, Lord, bless each and every one of them. Lord, you know the people, the need is so great. Your word says the harvest is truly plentiful. Yes, it is, God. We can't do it all by ourselves. But God, we are obedient to our call. Help us, God. Provide for us. Provide for the people. Lord, that we can be a blessing. That they can cry out to you with praise because of what you did. And now, God, I thank you for tonight. I thank you for forgiveness of our sins. For our sins are many, God, but you love us. And so, God, I pray that, God, that, 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 <laughs> that the hearts of the people would change towards you. Those that are in our government, those that don't know you, those that are in the streets, those that are hurting. Lord, allow us to all hope beyond hope for who Jesus is. He is our Savior. He is the Deliverer. Lord, we bless you and we thank you. For it is in Jesus Christ's name we pray. With thanksgiving, my heart says, Amen. And Amen, and Amen. Hold on, Andy. Receive the benediction, the Veronica, the ironic benediction. Padre Santissimo, te bendiga, 
y te guarde. Padre Santísimo, haga resplandecer su rostro, rostro sobre ti y tenga de ti misericordia. Padre Santísimo, hace sobre ti tu rostro y ponga en ti paz. En el nombre de el Señor Jesús Cristo. Amén. Amén. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look at his counts upon each and every one of you and feed over for him with his peace. We shem Adonai Yeshua HaMashiach in the name of our Lord, Jesus the Messiah. Adonai our Lord, Moshinu, our Redeemer. Tell your ex, wonderful counselor, El Gibor, mighty God, Aviad, everlasting Father, and Sar Shalom, the Prince of Peace. And we all say Amen and Amen. amen, amen. Go ahead, Andrew. And Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. God bless you, uh, Pastor Kendall. Thank you. Uh, God bless you too, Brother Andy. Huh? Oh, yes, indeed, of course. And Gary, very well, very well done. Very good. I understood every word. There was uh, one word there, scientifico, which is a little difficult to pronounce, and you did it very well. Very good. I'm proud of you, sir. Thank you for reciting that in Spanish. Ah, yes. Tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, family, and Gary will be teaching our Bible study. What is the subject about? Shofar. Ah, he's going to teach us about the shofar. How about that? Thank you, Eric Simons. Thank you, Eric. Thank you for all of you that contributed to us in a financial manner tonight. Thank you very, very much. You be too be really punished us and and everything that you're doing is making it up, and we thank you. Um, Pastor Kendall, any last words? Brother Andy, any last words? Oh, I think they're gone. Just, no, I'm not going. Okay. I'm not going at all, brother. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I'm 1%. I'm the one percenter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> praise, praise God. You know, I just want to say thank you, Jesus, for uh, blessing you, my brother, and giving you the healing that we asked him to do. So by Jesus stripes, we are healed. Yeah. By Jesus stripes, walking stick is healed. Yes. In the name yes. of Jesus, Yeshua, yes. under the name that every knee shall bow yes. and every tongue shall confess. Yes, yes. he is Lord. Yes. Amen. 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 You know, Kendall, I got to say something here that all of us followers of Jesus that are Christians here, we all have Jesus' ear. He listens to it. He protects us. And when you see someone in need or somebody that needs prayer, it's easy to pass them by, but don't. Stop and take the time and ask them, do you mind if I pray for you? And then pray for them. Talk to Jesus. Ask him if he'll if he'll answer prayers. I know I miss it so many times, but I try not to. That's what we're supposed to do. Amen. All right. That's what I'm done. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. So we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow, Gary. And Pastor Kendall, we'll see you on Sunday. And Andy, we'll see you on both those days. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, I might be a little late. Hopefully, I can be there. Okay. And to all of we're you, we're going to be at. A, and to all I of you, I told Jay we're going to family to the mountains. Gotcha. Well, thank you, gentlemen, once again, 
And thank you to all of you that came and uh, to be with us tonight. God bless you. May the Lord shine his mercy and grace upon you that it would reflect off of you to others that would understand why you love Jesus so much. It is by your words and your actions that they will know Jesus Christ. And that's a very powerful thing uh, to consider by your words, by your actions. They will know Jesus Christ. Hmm. I um, you know, Frank, when you uh, when you taught the other day, yes, Gary, it was beautiful. You, you, you did a great job. Thank you. I just want to thank you for the Bible study that you gave. I hope people can listen to it because it was really, really special. Thank, Excellent. You, thank you. Thank you. So yes, go to God's throne room and pray. And the number one thing is ask. Uh, Ask for God to forgive you for your sins. Don't don't dress up your sins. Don't 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 try to cover over your sins. Confess your sins. Confess your sins. You know, when you hold your sins within you, or better yet, let me just say me, before all of this happened to me. I was a stubborn son of a gun. I wasn't willing to say, God, I did wrong and please forgive me. I would always blame the other guy. Unconfessed sins made me feel dirty. Unconfessed sins made me feel dirty. I love my relationship with Christ, and if you want to have that same relationship, I'll be glad to help you. My name is Frank. We pray for each other. My phone number is 419-283-2552. I'm here for you if you need a friend. God bless you. Take care of each other. Pray for each other, lift each other, support each other, visit each other. Do the things that God asks you to do. I'll see you again, God willing, this coming Monday. Or if Walking Stick uh, says uh, so, then it might be before that. We'll put it inside our form. Y'all take care of each other. Bye-bye now. Goodbye. Goodbye. You know what, Tink? Yes. I'm cancer free. You're cookie free? I'm can what? You're cookie free? Did you say you're cookie free? Don't no no, this is serious no, stuff. No, I heard uh, you say you're no, cookie no, free. Co cookie free? Yeah. Is no, what you said? No. 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 I'm very proud of you. I am I'm proud of you. We I'm gonna call God and tell him how proud I am of you. <laughs> God, you know what she did? I'm serious. You saved me. God saved you. Nothing. God gave you the strength to save me. Yeah. They told you that if you hadn't brought me, I'd be dead. Yeah. Here I am. I love you so much. I love you too. But you and I know that we love Jesus first, right? Yes. Amen. Bye-bye. Bye, family.